Good morning, West Coast. Good afternoon, East Coast. And hello to everybody in between. Hope you are having a great day. It's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter. And uh, it's Sunday. It's Sunday again. <laughs> hope everybody's having a good day. If you celebrate a holiday today, I hope you enjoy your holiday. And if it's just another Sunday for you, well, I hope you're having a good Sunday. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And I'm seeing some new faces popping into chat today, which is awesome. I've got my chat up on my screen, so that way I can see. Uh, Jean said that she is here for the first time and she is happy to be here today. So thank you so much for joining me today. Tiffany was here, but she's gonna go take a nap so that way she can go live this afternoon. We also have um, Teresa from ISO2. I totally blinked on the channel name. Goodness gracious, how how good of a YouTuber am I am? Anyways, she's gonna go live this afternoon as well. Doreen is here, Beverly's here, Shelly's here, um, um, uh, Math Geek is here, Loki's here, D Adams is here, Irish Sail Lady, good to see you again. Uh, let's see, uh, Judy, so Terry is here, Denise is here, Jamie's here, Barbara's here. Melania's here. I said that wrong. I know I said that wrong. Sorry. My apologies. If you are new here and I have, and I have said your name wrong, I do apologize. I have dyslexia and it just it messes with my ability to say names sometimes. Words in general, like literally I could spell a word one day and then the next day the spelling is gone and I have to, yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. It is a whole thing. But anyways, hope everybody's having a great day and enjoying your Sunday. I'm a little bit sleepy. I stayed up a little too late last night working on what we're going to be working on today. If you missed it yesterday, over on Tiffany's channel, uh, I put a link to it down in the description of this video. If you're catching this on the replay, you can click that um, button down there. Not that button, but you can click the show more and head over to Tiffany's channel. And uh, she has a video where four of us, myself, Tiffany, Becca, and Teresa, we all decided to use the same layer cake, the uh, line work layer cake from Tulip Pink and we decided to use that to make a project with. So we all went in four different directions um, and it turned, like I'm loving to see how all four of us are going to be using that layer cake in different ways. I have something to show you in a minute, but I stayed up way too late, long story short, stayed up way too late after the live stream was over with and after I ate some dinner, I came back and continued working on it so that way I could get it hopefully finished, cross your fingers today that we will finish it here on this live stream. But uh, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Uh, let's see. Looking in the chat really quick. Everybody's saying hello. John says, I love the fabric backdrop. Thank you, John. I am going to be dropping that in a moment because that's hiding what I worked on last night. I wanted to make a big reveal. Big reveal of what I did last night. Oh, there's Tiffany. Tiffany popped into the chat, the uh, video from yesterday, the live stream that we did yesterday. And I think it was Yo Patty G. She came up, I don't know if she's here right now, but I had, uh, we got a really good name from her. She suggested the name, the seasonal four. And it was like, oh, that's such a, that's such an awesome idea because what's gonna happen is hopefully is uh, all four of us are going to host one of these videos every season. So we kind of wanted to go quarterly, but we wanted to do it by seasons. So Tiffany went first and she did hers uh, yesterday. Then it's gonna be Teresa in the summer. She's gonna represent our summer. Then I'm gonna be representing the fall and then Becca's gonna be wrapping it up in the winter. So we're gonna go spring, summer, fall, winter. That's kind of how it is. So make sure to subscribe to all of our channels so that way you will know, I promise you, we will let you know when we are going to go live with that video. So make sure to check that out over on everybody's channel. Lori's here, hello. Darnell's here, hello, welcome. All right, so are we ready to see what I did yesterday after the live stream was over with and after I ate dinner? I had to eat dinner. I didn't realize that we went three hours. Like it was, I, I we started, I looked down and it was an hour in, and then when I looked back, we were three hours in. So it was, it went by really, really fast. 
Judy says, I enjoyed last night so much. You are all fabulous. Thank you. I, th I thought it was a lot of fun. It went by like real fast. It was very surprising how fast it went by. GNB said, I enjoyed last night. Also, it was great. I'm glad that you are here today, GNB, because you found my channel through uh, Tiffany's channel. So thank you for joining me over here today. Sorry, I'm reading chat. I get so distracted by chat. It's, it's crazy. Y'all are having great conversations and I'm like, ooh, what's going on? What's happening? How's it, what's that? Anyways, let's check out what we did, what I did last night. I'm gonna move my chair out of the way so that way you can see the full picture of what happened after I went to bed or after, after the live stream was over with, not when I went to bed. I did not do this in my sleep. That would be great. Man, could that happen? Could like, could, yeah, anyways, well, it's a great day, folks. All right. <laughs> All right, Tiffany's now officially going. Okay, now it's time for ASMR, Tiffany. Good night, Tiffany. We're gonna watch. You're gonna watch the video in your sleep. And that, no, I, I hate ASMR. That's the running joke here on my channel is ASMR. All right, let's take a look behind the magic curtain. Is everybody ready to see? Everybody ready to see what I was able to complete last night? I, I gotta tell you, I love this. By the way, the pattern is down in the description. Sorry, I'm delaying. But the pattern is down in the description below. If you wanna get this pattern, you can find it in the URL listed down below. It is the spring picnic pattern is what it's called, Spring Picnic Pattern. You can go check it out down in the link down below. All right, here we go. So this is what, this is what I was able to finish last night. Wee, that was fun, I like that. So this is what we, we, you and I, we were all able to finish last night. I'm gonna throw this off to the side. I'll fold that up later, but this is what I was able to finish last night. It is not officially assembled all the way. Right now, I have I finally put up my um, design wall, if you will. Um, so I, I just thumbtacked it to the wall. Ooh, that one's a little loose. I'm just looking up at it and it looks a little loose. Uh, but this is what I was able to finish last night. So these are not officially sewn together. They are literally just put up on the design wall right now. And today what I'm hoping to do is to actually put it all together. Now I did pin everything to the wall. I was so afraid, I gotta tell you guys, I was so afraid last night that they were gonna fall off in the middle of the night. Like I would go to bed and they'd all <laughs> fall onto the floor. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was so worried about it. So I went through and I pinned every, right? <laughs> Katrina says, that's amazing. No wonder you're tired, true story. I literally stayed up until three o'clock last night. So anyways. Uh, but I sat here at the design wall pinning everything because I was so worried it was going to fall off in the middle of the night. Thankfully it didn't. It was all fine. But I sat here looking at my design wall because I kept playing with it. I tried to go first of all in like the colored square order. I tried to do rainbow order, but then I had some like some of the black was next to the black. It was all, you know, it was too much. So I had to mix everything up and I literally sat here mixing everything up for a while. It was crazy it was crazy how long it was i did do a lot of work last night gene that is right so uh thank you guys so much for your compliment yes i did take a picture with my phone math geek i did i did do that because i was so afraid it was gonna fall and actually like these uh blocks on the side um this block and this block are the same and so i had to like audition I would put the blocks up on this side and get them arranged the way I would want on this side. And I'm like, cool, that works for this side. And then I would pull them over here because you split those blocks in half and I would have to be like, okay, do they work on this side? And so I had to arrange them and play with them and um, all that on both sides, the top, the bottom, all over the place. There are a few spots that I don't, I'm not exactly happy with, but, um, it's not, it's not enough to make, sorry, my allergies are really bad right now. It is pollen season here in Texas. Um, there are a few spots that I'm not like super happy with because I got like two darker blues next to each other. There was a couple of purples that ended up next to each other, but I just had to let it go and be like, it's fine. There's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is. So there we go. Right? Katrina says, 
cameras and phones are the best thing for setting tryouts. You are absolutely right. And they're good for helping to remember what you did. <laughs> because I was, like I said, I was so afraid that these were gonna fall off in the middle of the night. So I did take pictures of them. Um, and I even, when I, before I actually cut the blocks up, I put them up and got an order that I liked. And then when I went from the left side to the right side, there were a couple of blocks that I thought I had placed well, and then I started messing around with it. And I ended up having to exchange some blocks that I wasn't using, and I was able to re line them up the way that they were supposed to go because I had taken a picture. So always take pictures. You can delete pictures. It's take that two seconds. If I have any tips, take that two seconds to take a picture of it. So it's amazing. It is dramatic, isn't it? It is very dramatic. I'm looking at it on the screen and it, I, you know, it looks really good. It looks really good on screen. I don't know if I, so, so Terry says me equals allergies equals 365. Same. Uh, I have taken allergy tests before and out of, I think it was like 34 allergens, I was allergic to 28. It was some ridiculous number. Basically trees, grass, animals, anything that grows wants to kill me. That's what it is. So, uh, can you tell us about your design wall? So it is some fabric. Um, it is called Creative Grids by Diana... I'm trying to read the name. Diana Leon? I, I don't know. I didn't, it was actually given to me by a friend and it is like grippy fabric, but I don't know where, I don't know where it came from. This actually has a copyright of 1994 on it. So it's been a while. I'm sorry. That's all I really know about it. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, allergy, I know, allergies in Ohio too, yeah, Texas, I walk out to my car and my car is blue, but it turns green with all the pollen that ends up on it. So anyways, all right, let's go ahead and get started. What's going to happen is this one is assembled on point, which means that all of my square blocks, this is a square block right here. By the way, I'm not so sure that this pattern really works well for pattern fabric, like if you had a grunge or a speckle or something like that, I think it would work better. But if you notice on some of the blocks, let me see if I can find one that's real, like my stripes. If you look at the stripes right here, it did not line up at all. And it kind of breaks the illusion a little bit. So um, I'm not sure that this would work well for patterns, but if you do like a grunge or a speckle or something like that, it works well for that. But we're gonna be assembling this in um, rows. And because this pattern is on point, that means that we're gonna be assembling rows this way because we have our square blocks on point so they get connected like so. So basically I'm gonna go through and just sew all of my rows together. First of all, I gotta sew all my blocks together. Then I gotta sew my rows together, all that kind of stuff. Um, Katie asks, where did you get your stand you're using and was it expensive? It is actually not attached to the stand. The wall is, um, actually, um, safety pin, not safety pin, excuse me, push pinned onto the wall. The quilt frame that I have, the backdrop frame is from Amazon. If you go on Amazon and type in backdrop stand, you'll come up with something like this. I don't remember how expensive this one was. I think you can get some for like 30, 40 bucks if I remember correctly. <laughs> Katrina says, my favorite allergen, cockroach poop. Now who would want to get tested for that? Funny you mentioned that, I am allergic to cockroaches. Uh, and it wasn't the first time when I took my allergy test and now I am, so. So they are set on point. Yes, no, they are set on point. This is one block right here on point. So I've, today when I'm sewing them together, I've got to sew them in rows. It does kind of look 3D. Hey, yo, Penny G, it does look kind of 3D, doesn't it? Neon green, yes, exactly. Neon green car, I know it well. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start sewing things together. Rochelle says, Rochelle with three L's says, I had the same when I lived in Bastrop. I, yeah, yeah, 
Gotta love Texas. Cedar fever, that's right. I'm allergic to roaches as well, uh, but shouldn't everyone be? In, yeah, yes, but it's such an annoying one to be allergic to as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna bring this one down. You'll see as I start working, um, you'll start to see on how this one's kind of put together. Let's see here. This one and this one. So we're gonna go right here. This is this should be the block that I sewed together. Why did I put the lid on that? I don't know. So I'm gonna put that right there. I'm just gonna leave this on a wide angle today so that way you can watch as I put everything together. That goes there like that. Yes, okay. So we're just gonna sew this onto this part here, like so. I, yeah, I can't do outdoor, I can't do outdoors, period. <laughs> like, it does not work well for me. Usually, I like to walk to do my exercise, like the exercise of choice is walking for me. And I love to do it, but I always take a shower when I get back because the pollen, you know, it literally hitches a ride with you. So I will have to take a shower when I get back. Wash all that pollen off of me. I don't, the only thing that I don't like on this pattern is that the corners, when you're working on the four corners, you're literally taking one block and slicing it four into four, and it is a little cumbersome to do that. Um, and they don't quite exactly line up well. So that's the only thing that I don't like about this pattern. But there we go. So that's the first one. So now I'm going to be sewing these together. Why do I keep covering up my pens? That's so silly. I'm going to put my pen container right there. That was the other thing that was hard yesterday was um, I kept trying to put my... Uh, pins on and I didn't have a good way to get the pins out. It was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. So on this quilt, I'm not being very, I'm trying to line everything up nicely. I'm trying to, you know, do everything that I can to make this quilt come out nice, but I'm on it, like I didn't take the time to square up the blocks. I was like, you know what, it is what it is. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. That's just what it is. Um, so there is going to be a little bit of wobbliness, as I like to say, to this quilt, and that's okay. This is not going to, this is not gonna be a show quilt. I will probably end up gifting this one to somebody or maybe selling it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. That will come at a later time. But I didn't take, like I said, I didn't take the time to square everything up because um, I just didn't feel like it. Just didn't feel like it. So I've actually been allergic to grass my entire life. And what's funny is like when I, you know, most kids love to go play in the grass and they love to do all the things. I would step foot in the grass and it, it would make my feet so itchy because I was so allergic to the grass. And I didn't know that. And my parents didn't know it either. And so like they were always like, oh, why don't you ever walk in the grass? Why don't you ever do the thing? And I'm like, I don't like it. And 
they, they didn't realize that I was allergic to the grass. Did you use the entire layer cake? Um, I did with the exception of two. So this pattern called for 40 pieces of the layer cake and 40 pieces of the um, charm pack. Yeah, charm pack. Um, so I used, I took out two of the white pieces of fabric so these were the ones that I pulled out. I pulled out two of the whites, and then I pulled out two of the peaches in the um, charm pack. So that's, um, that's all, it takes out those pieces, but otherwise I used everything else. Um, how do you like your new machine? I like my new machine. I'm gonna be taking a class tomorrow on it, and I'm excited for that. Um, even though I've already started using it a little bit, I, they were offering, like when you bought the machine, they give you a free class. And I said, yes, please, I will take a free class. Just in case there's something I don't know, already know about the machine. It's always good to find out more, right? So I'm being semi-careful when I'm sewing this together, but not like, not like the most perfect points and stuff like that. <clears throat> so Terry says, please do not send me flowers. <laughs> I know the feeling. Know the feeling. Um, I wish I could use the grass allergy for the HOA. Uh, just put in new sod a week ago. Hopefully it will take and can lock down the house when it, yep. Mm -hmm. Don't get me started on HOAs. I do not like them. I live in an apartment right now, but I know at some point I'm, there's a possibility I'll have to interact with an HOA. Maybe someday if I can afford a house. So let's take off this sticker. Let's take. Off. I also used stickers last night to um, keep everything kind of organized. Uh, little neon stickers were very helpful as I was going through this process. Let's see. I'm gonna do. Everything's gonna go to the left on this one. So I'm gonna press my seams to the left. which it may fight me a little bit on this top part up here. Yeah, it's trying to fight a little bit. Fight me. But whenever you're, you're when it, this pattern says whenever you're assembling it, you wanna try and um, get the seams all going in the same direction. And then when you um, go to the next row, iron them in the opposite direction to try and help nest those seams. So we're gonna try. We are gonna try. I can already tell it may not work all the way, but we'll do our best. <laughs> all right, will this stay? Ouch, and I poked myself with a pin. Good job, Ian, good job. <laughs> there we go, all right, so. Here's my corner pieces. I have gotten this first row done. We're gonna move on to our next row and get them worked on. Let's see. It's kind of hard to have to find the row sometimes. Dude, I have to like literally sit here and be like, okay, where's the next row at? So we're gonna take our two pieces here and we're gonna sew them like this, stay. Stay on there. No, my iPad turned off. I use my iPad to put your comments up on my TV so that way I can see them nice and big. And sometimes my iPad turns off. There we go. 
Um, Katie says I would not. What's an HOA? Uh, HOA is. What does that stand for? Housing. Something authority? I don't remember. It's basically a group of people that can tell you what to do on your own property. And I am not okay with that. Like you have to go to an HA, HOA to get anything approved. If you want to paint your house sometimes, if you want to re-landscape, like there's a whole bunch of rules and I do not like it. <laughs> No worries that you're late. You're not late at all. It's also Easter weekend, and I know that a lot of people are out. Maybe not out, but they are enjoying time with their family and such, which is totally fine. I'm just glad that you are here and spending some time with me today. I may have to turn the ceiling fan on here in a minute because it's getting a little, getting a little warm in here. Yes, they do charge you a homeowner's association. There you go. Yes. Absolutely. All the things that y'all are listing is yes. <laughs> Reasons why I do not like HOAs. Absolutely. Shelly, I totally agree that people... You know when you get into an HOA, um, there are good HOAs. It just seems like we hear about, and, and that's what it is, is we hear about the bad ones. We don't hear about the good ones. There are some good HOAs out there for sure. There are just some really bad ones that have some really bad rules. Really, really bad rules. Or some boards, because all HOAs have boards. Some of the boards may be a little power hungry. But anyways, we'll, we'll digress on this topic. I keep seeing, I must have nicked my finger somewhere somehow and I don't remember how or when I did it. <laughs> Cause it's, it's scuffed up a little bit and I don't remember doing that. I also, I put on my shorts this morning and I realized that I have like a cut on my leg and I'm like, when did, when did I do that? When did that happen? You're welcome, Denise. I'm glad that you headed over to the designer of the pattern. Oh, hey, somebody just, Brandy. Brandy May, thank you very much for subscribing. I'll go to our next one. I have to remember on this one, when I iron all my seams together, I need to remember that I'm pressing them towards the right. Because I did the other ones to the left, this one will be to the right. To the right, to the right. No, it's to the left, that's sorry. That song's to the left. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh no! Katrina cut her finger using her rotary cutter earlier this week. I hope it was not too bad. I've known a couple of people to do that and, and in rather spectacular ways. So hopefully it was nothing 
of that sort. Is it one more? Yeah, a Cupid Shuffle, there you go. To the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. Make sure my iron is hot. I am finding this, uh, Barbara says, I'm finding this so along with the line work fabric so good. Personally, I have difficult working with these directional super bold fabrics, even though I really like them. This was, I was looking for a free pattern that uses um, layer cakes and I came across this one and I think that this one's a good one to use for this. There's, like I said, there's a couple areas that I didn't, t I wasn't like terribly pleased with um, because you are taking a charm square and mixing it with another charm square that you sew diagonally. And so it like it can end up being a little weird. So I think this pattern works a little bit better. It's a little stronger with like solids or grunge or speckle or something like that. I don't think patterns exactly work for this one, but um, it is what it is. And I think overall it still comes out well. Oh, I'm glad you hit the nail. Okay. No pretty manicure for a while. That's okay. I'm glad you, it's, I, I, if, if it were going to happen, I'm glad it hit more of your nail rather than the finger. Cause that's, nails are harder than squishy skin, <laughs> squishy cuttable skin. Oh my gosh. Denounce says I have shaved off my fingertip three times. Oh, goodness. Plus I have sewn my middle finger in the nail bed before I was distracted. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why I like, it's hard for me to read comments while I'm sewing because I want to make sure that I don't, you know, sew my finger into my project. So yeah, try very hard not to do that. <sighs> Barbara says, yes, this pattern does work so good. Great choice. Thank you. I think, I think I'm, I'm noticing because like I'm right up on it from where y'all are at. It is a little bit further away. And so I think it reads better from far away. Woo. Loki says, I've sewn over my fingers a few times when FMQ, but I've never rotor blade. I, ugh, ugh. There's a reason why I was not a doctor <laughs> or in the medical field. Um, Cause ugh, la, 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 la. no, thank you. All right. So I've got to press this one to the right. I'm pressing to the right on this one. And y'all get another butt shot, butt shot. You're welcome. Hey, at least I'm wearing shorts, right? I was not about to wear jeans or anything. Oops, I just ironed over my label, my bad. Thankfully, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right, let's take the label off. All right, so that's officially been pressed to the right. Help me remember, because I'm gonna forget, when I do the next row, help me remember that I need to sew, or excuse me, I need to press to the left on the next row. Because I'm gonna be like, which way did I say I needed to do it? And y'all gonna be like, oh, Ian, left. You said left. And I'll be like, oh, right, I forgot. Thank you for telling me. Come on, stay, stay. All right, I think it's gonna stay now, maybe. Stay. 
This design wall is good, but it just needs a little more grip to it, just a hair more. What defines a picnic quilt? Um, that's just the name of it, is picnic quilt. That's the one that she decided to go with. Uh, I know I'm silly. Um, I can envision this pattern with uh, mitered blocks all in one color slash print and then multicolored squares. Absolutely, you can do that. Do, do, do. I can see why some of you influencers go live with others. I don't think I can keep up with the comments. And so, I know it's it, it can be quite difficult to try and so and do comments at the same time. Uh, it is it is very difficult sometimes, but I love doing it. And I love that y'all get to see my process as I'm doing it. Plus, I get a video up that I don't have to edit, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> because editing can take a while sometimes. All right, we're gonna do this one, and we're gonna do this one. I'm starting to get to a place where I need my bucket over there for the pens. All right, that one's sewn already. <sighs> Sue Allen is here. Hello, Sue Allen, welcome. Sue Allen is a channel member, so I'm giving her a shout out every time she pops into chat. Uh, Sue Allen, thank you so much for support, supporting my channel and helping support everything that I do here on YouTube. So thank you, appreciate it. If you wanna be a channel member too, you can. I So channel members was a thing for a while and I started my channel membership and then I didn't like what I was doing with it and so I I actually tried to delete my channel membership and, you know, rework it, but YouTube won't let you delete it once you start it. So Sue Allen makes a lovely donation to my channel each month to help me continue to grow. So if you go on there and you're like, oh, I want to be a channel member and you see that there's only a gold level at $25 a month, um, that's why, because I, I was like, oh man, I, mm, what am I gonna do? And so I tried to like, yeah, anyways, it's a, it's a thing, it's a thing. Sue so Allen says, hi Ian, watched you last night with Becca and Tiff and Teresa. You, might, you guys made nice blocks, thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. I know, I have been Billy. I don't, I don't know how I cut myself either. Like, it's a good gash, not a gash, but like, I can definitely tell I did something. And I was like, what happened? What happened? Um, oh my gosh. Also, one neighbor didn't paint their house from 1968 until they finally did in 1995. Goodness gracious. That's a while. That is a while for a house to go without getting painted. My mom's house was built in the 60s. Um, is that the right one? Yes. Um, and it, 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 mom's been trying to take care of it and um, paint it and all that kind of stuff, but goodness gracious, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work to do all that. All of you did super job on the quilt blocks. Thank you. It was a lot of fun sitting there chatting with everybody and seeing, I love how, how different all of our projects are coming out. Same exact layer cake, everything, but completely different projects. And that is so cool to me. I really love that. I got off live though, and my stomach was like, are you gonna feed me now? And I was like, oh gosh, I just, it, like the time just flew by. It's like, my stomach was like, yeah, you, you need to feed me, please. Feed me. Feed me, Seymour. Like, oops, my bad. <laughs> We're a little bit off on this one. Little tiny bit off, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna worry about it. This is not going to be a piece of work that hangs in the National Quilt Museum. It is going to be just fine. Uh, 
J. I'm trying to trying to identify the words that are in there, and I'm missing them. But they say uh, afternoon, Ian, and all really enjoyed the four musketeers tutorials last night. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun doing that last night. So thank you for being there. Donnell says, Don Donnell, excuse me, says, I'm so happy you came live uh, on live today because tomorrow is my birthday. Happy birthday, 44 years old. Oh, you're still young. Uh, and your bright, beautiful quilt cheers me up. I'm so happy about that. Happy early birthday. And I'm glad that my quilt could cheer you up. I have a birthday coming up. We're in April already, aren't we? I have a birthday coming up next month. Gosh, can't believe it. Hard to believe that we are almost to my birthday again. But at least I'm only turning 29. Why is 29 the like go-to number? When you're going to lie about your age, why is 29 the go-to number? I don't understand, but whatever. I did have to renew my driver's license, um, and they wouldn't let me do it online. Uh, here in Texas, you can do one renewal online, and then you have to go in and actually redo your photo and all that kind of stuff. So this time, I had to go in and redo the photo. And i got to say, it's not the best picture in the world, but it's not bad. It's definitely not the worst photo ever. So I was like, all right, I can deal with this. I'm a little scruffy, but my hair's getting a little long because I don't know what to do with it. I kind of want to try something new, but I haven't decided what that is. And so I've just been letting it grow out to give me a blank canvas to work from. <laughs> Katrina is going to be turning 65 on the 21st. Happy early birthday. Loki asks, are you going to be adding a border to this quilt? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to be adding a border to it. I'm not going to keep this one. Um, I already know it's going to be a gift or I'm going to sell it. So I don't need to make it any bigger for me. Um, so it's probably going to be a lap quilt for somebody, I guess. Um, but no, I'm not going to be adding another border onto it. If it was for me, all six foot two of me, yes, I would be adding a border, but... Since it's not for me, I'm just going to keep it as is. Uh, Candy asks, what day, Ian? What day is what? I, I, don't know what you're, I don't know what you're referring to, Candy. Uh, and then Katie asks, what day is your birthday? My birthday is May 30th. So 30th of May, I will be having a birthday. And that is a... Tuesday, if I remember correctly. I think it's a Tuesday. The day before my birthday is a holiday here in the United States. Um, but I think my actual birthday is not. Because it, it lands on Labor, uh, excuse me, Memorial Day some years. So I'll have my birthday off. But this year, no, I don't think I do. I think it's Tuesday, if I remember correctly. I've said that like five times. But um, yeah, May 30th. I am going to be doing something special for my birthday, but I'm doing it earlier in the month. Do, 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 do. Mama Harden is here and she says, hello, Ian. Nice to be here. Nice that you are here to join me looking at your quilt back there and it's looking good. Thank you so much. It is looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Cheryl, I think I said that correctly, says, I love that quilt. Thank you. Ian, did you sew wrong orange and pink together? No. I don't think I did. I think the pink and the pink were together already. Let me check my photo that I have. Uh, nope, they were together. Yep, that one's correct. That one's correct. Yep, they were like that.
Um, let's see. It's when those anniversary years are larger than what you claiming they have. <laughs> Darnell says my wife's B day is this month on the 14th. Happy birthday to her. My son's birthday is May 16th. Happy birthday to your son. My sister's birthday is May 17th. So right, right there in front of, or right there after, excuse me. I'm trying to do too many things at once and then the brain is not working. Loki says, check your blocks. Oh, okay, false alarm. Pfft. Loki, don't do that to me. <laughs> Yeah, they were, they were folded over as I was um, working on them. Goodness gracious, Loki, giving me a heart attack. I'm like, no, the picture shows them right. What's going on? I gotta fold them over so that way I can sew them together. <laughs> oh man. It's okay, Shelly, no worries. I was just like, uh, what did I do wrong? I'm, like, I've been very meticulous at trying to make sure that I get this correct. And so when y'all are like, oh no, problem, problem. Like, what did I do? What did I do? I could have sworn I didn't do anything wrong. Thankfully, the quilting police are not gonna come for me. So it's okay. Cause you know, there are no such things as the quilting police. All right, one more to go. And I have another sticker on this. So I actually labeled them because there were, there's four like empty spots here. So there was one, two, three, and four. And I labeled them right one, right two, right three, right four. And I actually labeled them as the blocks were still square. And then that way, when I put my ruler on it and sliced, the label stayed on the correct side of the block. And then I could just pick up the block and be like, oh, this is left three. And I would pop it into its place. It helped me kind of organize it a little bit. Kind of helped me figure it all out. Uh-oh, did my, am I still alive? Yep, I'm still alive. Organization is super key in some of these quilts. Sometimes you get a project and you don't have to worry about organization. But sometimes you get a project and you're like, ooh, I need to organize this. Speaking of organization, I'm gonna show y'all here in a minute. I've been, I started in on my legit kit, Margaret the Boxer, um, which has been a really fun experience, but ooh wee, is it a lot. If you, if you wanna dive into paper piecing, a legit kit is the way to do it, but goodness gracious, you have to be meticulously organized with it. So, Yarnum? Hi all, love how the Tula is coming together. Thank you. Uh, Candy says, I cried when I turned 20. I didn't care when it was, when it was 30 and 40. I turned 67 on the 5th of last month. Time sure does fly by. Sure does. It sure does fly by, doesn't it? I've still got to, oh wait, I need to iron first. What am I doing? And if I remember correctly, did I get it right? I'm gonna be ironing to the left. Did I get that right? Is that right? Am I right? Am I right? I mean left, am I left? <laughs> I believe I'm ironing to the left if I remember correctly. Oh, I should have gotten my iron ready a little bit sooner. So I'll wait for it to heat up. I'll read your comments while I'm waiting. Uh, I'm 62 and happy to be alive. Absolutely. Uh, Darnell says, my wife loves it. She would love it for a, a B-Day gift. 
My son's birthday is May 10th, and my granddaughter's is May 11th. Oh, wow. Very close together. There we go. So I'm going to be ironing these to the left. I'm having a little problem up here at the point, because the point is trying to go the opposite direction. There we go. So we're going to get it into submission. We're just going to keep ironing to the left. Gene says, got to run, but I'll watch the rest on the replay. No worries. I'll see you in the future. So this is past Ian reaching out to future Gene, hello. <laughs> oh, time is such a weird construct, isn't it? Because like past, that really is past Ian saying hello to future Gene. I appreciate y'all being here once again. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your day. If you are spending time on your own today, I hope that this gives you a little bit of some fun. Ooh, Candy asks, uh, how's the puzzle mystery quilt going? It, both of them are going very well. My uh, Village Green Clue video will come out tomorrow. And then we are getting ready to do the big reveal for Piazza which I will be on live with them for Piazza, for the big reveal. So make sure to tune into that if you're doing the puzzle mystery quilt, or if you're not, if you just want to see like what it looks like. Make sure to tune in. I think that's on the 21st of this month, if I remember correctly. It's either the 21st or the 22nd, whatever day is Friday. It'll be on that Friday, so keep an eye out for that. There we go. That's our row done right there. Stick, please stick to the wall. Don't come flying off. Um, let's see. Danelle says, too funny, I spent my uh, 30th birthday watching Lifetime, eating junk food and crying while being in sweats. About to be 44 tomorrow, happy early birthday again. And loving it so much where my life is now. Happy, healthy, and content. I love that. Hello, the Confident Quilter. Welcome. <laughs> I'm 52, but look, 45, so I'm sticking with that. You do that. Absolutely. Age is just a number, right? All right, we're going to go to this row. This is my longest row. Is it? Or is this one? I don't know. They're maybe the same. Um, we're going to go to this one now. And we're going to start working on this one. I know, Math Geek, it's gonna be so exciting. I'm gonna be live with them. I'm gonna help them do the big reveal for Piazza. I told them, I told, uh, I sent a message to uh, the workers at Cotton Cuts. There's several people that work behind the scenes. Um, one of them is their communications person and I messaged her and I said, I have this great idea. Uh, y'all should buy me a plane ticket to go to Italy and do the big reveal from Italy, right? Like that's, that's totally doable, right? <laughs> Tongue firmly placed into cheek. Uh, they thought it was a great idea. They, they laughed, they laughed. What was that? Um... Mama Harden says, I'm 68th. My birthday was January, excuse me, January 13th, but all of my kids and grand, uh, but with all of my kids and grandkids, it means someone has a birthday in all 12 months. 
two months every year, there are four birthdays and one with five birthdays. Goodness gracious. So it always seems like y'all are planning another party, right? I kind of know how that feels. Uh, my uh, chosen family, we are, <laughs> between all of the people in the chosen family, there are nine nieces and nephews. And so it seems like birthdays every single month. And then we all celebrate our birthdays as well. So it's a lot, a lot of birthdays. A lot, a lot, a lot of birthdays. Right, Math Geek? Wouldn't it be perfect to go to Italy? Like, that would be the perfect way to do the big reveal, right? Like, psh, totally. Candy says, I got my first two clues. That's awesome. Can't wait to see them. What colorway are you doing, Candy? I'm excited to see what the next puzzle, because we're getting ready to wrap up Piazza. Ah, frustrating. <laughs> oh, sorry. I am so sorry. I needed to sneeze really bad. And usually if I look into a light, it, it makes it work, but it didn't this time. <clears throat> I looked on the I was watching the weather and they're like Sunday will be like level 10 for allergens and I'm like great love that for me <laughs> um, but anyways <laughs> oh my gosh Lori has uh, she says that's nothing I have 75 first cousins on my mom's side alone Talk about a lot of birthdays. Goodness. There's no way to buy presents for, for that. Like, I have a hard enough time with the ones that we do have, but goodness gracious. Anyways, um, yes, so we're wrapping up Piazza, which means that we're going to be starting a fall puzzle mystery quilt. And I am so excited to see what the theme is going to be and what colorways are going to be available. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm hoping that one of the colorways will be the Tula Pink Everglow line. I don't, I don't know. I don't have any information on um, what they're doing, like colorways or anything like that. I'm making this is total speculation. I would love for them to do a Everglow as one of their colorways. I don't know if that would fit into their theme, but I think it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Candy is doing the colorway lavender for Village Green. Exciting. <laughs> Amy C says, I love how your quilt is starting to look. Thank you so much. Amy, I saw your comments yesterday on the live stream about um, your local shop is getting um, Everglow in soon. And I'm so excited, so excited for that. I am gonna be buying the quilt kit for it. Um, I don't know when I'll be putting it together, but I'll definitely be buying it at the very least. Buying it so that way I can have it on hand when I'm ready to start another project. Huh. Oh, and I forgot to show y'all my organization that I did for uh, my um, legit kit. Katie is doing begonia for Village Green. That's exciting. I just worked on Aster last night. I'm so sorry for my sniffles. I do apologize. I was gonna show y'all the organization. Here is, as I hit the table, here is my book that has all of the information and then like some pages in the protective sheets. And then I've got, yeah, like I, I yeah, 
It's a lot. It's a lot. It is a lot. Highly suggest getting a notebook if you're going to do a legit kit. This is the best way to do it. Good evening from Italy. Ciao. Wait, is that goodbye or hello? I can't remember if ciao is one of those words that you can use for hello or goodbye. Hello. <laughs> Grazie. Um, and then, oops, I just sent my ruler onto the floor. That's not good. And then this is literally... This is literally all the fabrics for Margaret the Boxer. I literally have them file, for, file storage with the labels. I don't even know if you can see the labels. Yep, there they are right there. Here are all the labels. I'm looking at my screen to see what you can see. This is for Margaret the Boxer. <laughs> oh boy. It is, it is a lot, but it's great. So if you have OCD, these projects are for you because this is a great way to stay organized. Thank you, Katie. I appreciate that. Katie says you don't have to keep apologizing for the allergies. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I may have to go blow my nose in a second, though. Both hello and goodbye. Okay, good. I was like, I couldn't remember if Chow was that, like, oh, uh, um, shoot. Yeah, anyways, it doesn't matter. Aloha. There we go. That's the word. It's like, there's another word that you can use for hello or goodbye. Heidi is asking, ooh, let's see, okay, hold on. I'm gonna go back a couple of comments here. Amy says, yep, very excited. I want the black and white 108 hex print for my black and white Bargello. Ooh, that would be fun. Um, love this pattern, perfect fabric choice too. Pick the lavender for my village green, exciting. Uh, hey Ian, hello, uh, Joanne, welcome. How do you sign up for the cotton cuts and approximate cost? If you type uh, exclamation point PMQ into the chat, you can sign up for Village Green. I think the Village Green is still there, but you may have to hurry because it. I think it closed already, but go to the website and see. The approximate cost, I don't remember off the top of my head, but exclamation point PMQ, that will um, take you over to the Cotton Cuts website. So exclamation point PMQ. Um, both hello and goodbye. Ciao. Did you say the pattern name for Margaret the Boxer or for what's hanging up on the wall? If you're talking about the one that's on the wall, it is the picnic quilt. Um, spring picnic quilt. And you can access the pattern by typing, or excuse me, going down into the description of this video and clicking on the link, it takes it over there. It, I, Katie, I think it is closed. So it probably, I think you're gonna have to jump in on the next one, but check to make sure. There's your link for the puzzle mystery quilt. Head over there and check it out. <laughs> Susie says, no thank you for any of those paper piecing projects. I feel that. It is, it's been a lot of fun though. I will say it's been a lot of fun. Did you use their stickers to label the, yes, I took the, I took the stickers off the fabric and placed them onto the tabs. It's closed, okay. So you won't be able to join in for Village Green, but you will be able to uh, get prepared for the next one that they're going to be doing. Uh, Signups will start May, I believe. I think it's May. I think May will be when you can sign up for the next one. Ooh, this is way off. Let's try that again. I'm gonna cut my thread and pull out Jack. 
because this isn't just a little bit off, it's like way off. So I'm just gonna use Jack really quick. Thank you, Katie. Next PMQ opens up on May 26th, 7 a.m. Uh, CDT. So make sure to mark that on your calendar. Some of the colorways will go fast, so be ready for that. Somebody just subscribed. Bev, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Come on. Uh, Jackie asks, Ian, do you know when the May, uh, in May, when the new uh, Cotton Cuts colorways are announced? I don't know. I don't have any information on that, unfortunately. <laughs> Just keep an eye out. Usually they send the colorway cards in with the final clue 10, but that may, may or may not happen. I don't, I don't have any knowledge on that, unfortunately. So just keep watching your, um, keep watching your mailbox, both email, social media, and other. Karen says, I'm having such a good time watching, but have to tear away. I've got to go get ready for Easter brunch. See you on the replay. Well, I will see you later. Past Ian says, hello, future Karen. Kathy's here. Welcome, Kathy. <clears throat> I'm going to have to blow my nose in a minute. I will have to jump off screen and make sure to turn off my microphone so that way y'all don't hear me making all kinds of racket. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very excited. What do y'all think the next theme is gonna be? Does anybody have any guesses what they think the next theme for the Puzzle Mystery Quilt is gonna be? I'd love if they would do a space one. How cool would that be? <laughs> space would be a good theme. Um, did I set this on wrong? No, I think it's right. I'm gonna take this off. Did I do, did I, did I sew it on right? No, it is right. Yeah, no, that's right. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, mm-hmm. We will be talking about it on and off. All right, blow my nose now. Sounds like a plan. I will be right back. I'm gonna go grab a tissue and I'm gonna blow my nose really quickly. Give me just two seconds, I'll be right back. Well, that was not fun. <laughs> Glad I turned the, my cameras off and muted for that. Oh, interesting, I like that. I can't, Karen, I can't pronounce it, but that's very cool. Hello and goodbye phrase in Guam. Uh, Katie, I do have a Facebook. I do not update it regularly. I don't really even use it all that much. Most of the social media that I do is either here on YouTube or on Instagram. Those are my two main places that I post. Hello, Pat Boo, welcome. T 
totally understand candy. Budgetary reasons, I totally understand only being able to do one at a time. I feel very fortunate because I do, I do get those quilts for free, but it's in exchange for making the tutorial videos. Ian, did you draw and design your screen? <laughs> yeah, I did not draw them, but I did design them. Um, I had, I did have the um, artist, I had an artist um, design my logo for me. I kind of gave him like an idea of what I wanted, but he actually executed it and he did such a great job, I love him. Gosh, my nose feels so much better. Thank you for letting me go blow my nose. Katie, it's the same as here on YouTube, Off Kilter Crafter Ian. Instagram name is the same as my YouTube name. Wanted to try and make things as convenient as possible. Pat Boo says, is this the line from last night? Yes, it is a continuation of last night's project. Um, I stayed up far too late last night and started putting the blocks on the design wall so that way I could see them. And it, I'm glad I did because there were some, it took some finagling for sure. I watched Saturday Night Live while I worked on this last night. Stayed up far too late, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I got it done, right? That's the important part. Donnell says, we totally appreciate all the videos you do as well as the other creators uh, who make videos for us. It is such a great, I'm very happy to be an ambassador for Cotton Cuts and especially doing the videos for Cotton Cuts. I really enjoy those a lot. Um, I have decided, so um, if you are interested in a legit kit and don't want to pay the full price up front, they're going to be coming out with a block of the month very soon. So head over to Legit Kits uh, Instagram and you can start learning about it. Um, but they are going to be doing a block of the month uh, as well and I am testing it for them. I am not going to be creating tutorial videos but I am gonna be creating some content on my channel. I haven't quite figured out what I wanna make for them yet, but I am gonna be creating some um, content for my YouTube channel um, for the Legit Kit Block of the Month. So make sure to head over to my social media, subscribe, and then check out their social media, Legit Kits, on Instagram, um, and that way you can find out all the information about when it's available. It's not available yet, but it will be available in the near future. Legit kits are worth it though, I will say. I was, I, I'll be honest, I was a little skeptical at first when I saw how much the kits were, but goodness gracious, they have a lot in there. They have all of your fabric, they have all the instructions, they have all the pieces of paper for you to paper piece with. It's there. There's a lot to it, and I know that price point is steep, but man, is it so worth it! It is so so worth it. Okay, Katie, I will. I'll check my Instagram after I get off. Ooh, good question. Danell asks, is there a way of taking a picture and turning it into a foundation paper piecing to create? That is something that I'm working with. I have a photographer, ooh, that reminds me, Wednesday. This Wednesday, my friend Stephanie, who is a photographer, she and I sat down for a crafty chat. She is a photographer, I am a quilter, and we talk about our um, mediums and we answered some of the questions that y'all had left for us. So make sure to check that out. That's coming out on Wednesday and 
she is, I've asked her for her help in making some paper piecing patterns because I have a few ideas that I would love to execute, but I need her help to help me transition the photos into um, paper piecing patterns. Um, so that is, that is something on the list. I don't have a good answer right now, but maybe in the future I might. Photoshop is your friend though. I know that's, that's for sure. Does this block have a Y seam to it? No, none of these blocks have Y seams. Um, they use some, um, you take the layer cake, you turn it into one bigger rectangle and then two five inch squares. I think it's like five inch. Um, and then you sew them all together and you sew one of the five inch uh, squares onto the rectangle, cut it diagonally. I have 40 half square triangles over there from when I worked on uh, them earlier. So no Y seams. It gives the illusion that there would be, but there aren't. <laughs> Math Geek says, I was really impressed by the amount of fabric included and how detailed everything was. Yes to all of that. I would love to make the uh, Camaro for my husband, but he passed before I knew they made one. Oh, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. Bev says I was introduced to your site through so Becca and Tiffany when I joined, when you joined them live, I learned so much from you guys. I'm so glad. I just printed the pattern because there are no Y seams. Absolutely. And again, if you want this pattern, it is a free pattern that you can access by clicking the link down in the description of this video. And we're gonna go to the right on this one. So this is my right corner. Yes, all right, so we're gonna go to the right. I gotta, sometimes my brain just doesn't want to, yes, we're going this way, okay. Sometimes it takes my minute, uh, it takes my brain a minute to figure it out. I'm sitting here like, okay, brain, work with me. Work with me. So we're gonna go to the right, because our last row was to the left. This row is to the right. Pretty sure. Right? Left. Right, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So I'm gonna iron all these seams to the right. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is, there are no quilting police, so I don't need to worry about them coming to arrest me. That's not gonna happen because there are no quilting police. So if my seam doesn't end up doing what I want it to do, that is okay. Again, this is just gonna be either a quilt that I sell or gift to someone. Haven't quite decided yet, but I don't, I'm not gonna be entering it into shows and I'm not gonna be, like this isn't gonna be a show-stopping piece and I'm okay with that. I will look at your comments in just another second. I've got one more seam to press. There we go. And we're done. Um, not only do we learn from you, you guys are a lot of fun. Thank you, Susie. I like hanging out with everybody. Last night was a blast. Like I said, it went by really fast. It was, it was a very, very quick live, it felt like. Whoops. Stay. Stop it. Stay up there. <laughs> Stay. It's the only thing about, like, as you, as your pieces get heavier and heavier, it's harder for them to stay on the design wall. I'm so glad I did put this design wall up last night though. I'm gonna keep it up. It's actually gonna be hidden. <laughs> Whenever I have a quilt up here, it's gonna be hidden behind it. But I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it up because I like having it. 
and especially because we're going to be working on Piazza, finishing up Piazza, it's really going to help when I'm doing the videos for it to um, have it up like this. So there you go. Um, what determines something show stopping versus not? Um, so uh, Pat Boo, I clicked the link and it says it's a malicious website. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't think it is, but if you want to go to, go directly to our website, um, which is it's only fabric and thread. Uh, let's see, does she list her actual website? If you Google, it's only fabric and thread. Um, you can get to the pattern that way. It should not be a malicious site. It worked well for me, so. Um, what, deter what determines if it's show versus, so a lot of times I have quilts in mind that I want to be perfect because I'm going to be putting them into shows. So I will spend more time making sure that my seams are pressed nicely, that my seams align well, stuff like that. This quilt, this is just a fun project that I'm not worried about that because it's just it's just a fun project. That's all it's going to be. So I'm just like, meh. So I um, am not taking the time that I normally would if I was going to be doing something that I was going to be entering into shows, basically. Barbara says uh, you could use car headliner material for the design wall. Uh, yes, I can use that. I um, This one was given to me, so I've just uh, just had it. I've just never taken it out until now. I've just never taken it out until last night, actually. It's literally been folded away in a drawer this entire time. Barbara King, I can't get to the pattern ear either. I'm very sorry. Um, type in to Google. Uh, uh, it's only fabric and thread, and you can pull up her blog that way, and then you'll search for spring picnic pattern. Do, 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 do. So I think, let's see, I'm gonna change this. I think we're going to do a giveaway. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the giveaway. So if you go into the chat and you type in exclamation point raffle, you'll be entered into a mystery raffle. Uh, Susie asks border or no border, no border for this one. I think I'm gonna leave it as is. So if you type into, into the chat exclamation point raffle, it will give you a ticket and we'll choose a winner in about 30 minutes. It's always funny, I know when my, because uh, y'all are about 30 seconds delayed from reality, so it's about 30 seconds behind, and I can always know when my voice hits y'all's um, devices because I start to see everything go uh, fast. Uh, somebody entered it always. Uh, you got to do it with... Uh, no space in between the exclamation point and raffle. Just exclamation point raffle, all one phrase. This is the part where the chat goes crazy and it's hard to see things. And it is going to be a mystery raffle. If everybody is welcome to enter if you are outside of the United States. Um, you will receive a quilted postcard if you are in the United States. If your mailing address is in the United States, you'll be receiving a mystery package. I don't know what's going to be in it yet, 
but we will find out. You will find out when you open it. <laughs> so yes, this is open to international. International, you will receive a quilted postcard. I wish I could do giveaways, like bigger giveaways for international, but trying to deal with customs and then it's so expensive to send quilt, uh, excuse me, send uh, packages. I was thinking, I was thinking about, uh, I sent my quilt off to um, South Carolina uh, for the quilt show in South Carolina and my package actually disappeared for a little bit. It was scaring me a little bit because, um, it was so, whew, it just disappeared. And I was like, what is going on? And my, I have an Apple AirTag sewn into my quilt and it also was not responding. And so I was like, what is happening? Like, where did my quilt go? Thankfully, everything was fine. It popped back up. Hi, Nora, welcome. Nora just subscribed. Um, Thankfully, it popped back up. The air tag showed up again. Everything was fine, but goodness gracious, there for a moment, it was a little nerve wracking. Here we have to pay customs. Ugh, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess trying to ship internationally. I don't know how companies do it, to be honest. I don't know how they do it. And by the way, you must be present to win the raffle. Because if I call your name and you don't respond after a few minutes, I'm gonna move on to the next person. So you must be present to win. Math Geek, oh my God, that's very scary. I like the AirTag idea. It, it is very, it's, it's more peace of mind than anything else. What was funny is the last time I shipped the quilt, I actually was able to trace it. Like it kept updating. It would like, it was in a truck and I would see it on the highway. Like it would show up on the highway. I was like, cool, great. This time it must've gotten buried in the center of the truck with like packages all around it because it gave nothing until it ended up at the um, UPS location um, in the area um, and like once they unloaded it I think it, it started to register again but there for a minute it was the air tag was not registering and that was a little scary <sighs> Katrina says that's terrifying to lose a quilt I have a baby quilt that never made it to the baby or the parents never notified me that it got to the baby that's so it's so scary it like really is especially because like this isn't you can't, for like a product or something, you can get the monetary value and then just rebuy it. With a quilt, like, sure that they, it is insured, so I have insurance on it, but what, what good is that going to do? Sure, I'll get some money for it, but like, I won't get the original quilt back, so... Um... I missed something. How do you enter the raffle? Enter exclamation point raffle, Bev. Exclamation point raffle, no spaces. No spaces. I'm having dinner. That sounds lovely. I haven't had lunch yet, so I could, I could use a dinner or a lunch. Mmm, margarita pizza. Oh, that's my favorite in Italy. So good. So good. Um, Pat Boo says, I did just what you said, and it says it's also a malicious website. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, it should not be, so I don't know why it's reflecting that. It may be your um, internet settings are a little too intense. <laughs> like, it's trying to filter out things that are not malicious. It's working for me. 
Um, yeah, Bev, no space in between the exclamation point. Ian, I'll have, I have, wait till I have a box that weighs between uh, 20 and 30 pounds before I send money to my kids to ship in, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. It's, it's expensive to ship things internationally. It is expensive. We're gonna scooch this up here. Again, this isn't gonna be perfect and that's okay. Katrina says, I need to go clean up our lunch dishes. I don't have any lunch dishes to clean up today, at least not yet. I'll probably eat off of a paper plate for lunch though, so it won't really matter. Ooh, Donnell, Donnell says, I'm right there with you, Ian. I am so hungry and I smell the crock pot and it's trying to kill me. Oh, I don't, I don't have anything special. I did, um, I put some steaks into the refrigerator to def defrost. I, I like doing air frying steaks. Like you cube, it, you cube the steak up and then you put it into the air fryer for like, six to eight minutes and oh it's so good pour like some garlic butter onto it um it's just very yummy it's just very very yummy you cook a baked potato before it for like an hour mine takes about an hour to cook um a baked potato but it's so worth it it's all so good so good um is there a pattern name I could look up? You're gonna look up, I keep saying this name and then forgetting it. You're gonna look up the pattern name as Spring Picnic. Spring Picnic from It's Only Fabric and Thread. Hello, Adam, welcome. Hey, how are you? Bev, when is this live happening? Can you um, can you fill in which one you're referring to? No, you didn't. Oh, I did. I just my top thread just broke. Where did it get stuck? There we go. Found it. My top thread broke, so let me re-thread my machine. Re-thread. Oh, dang it. There we go, got it. I know how to re-thread my machine, but sometimes I get a little too overzealous. There is no such thing as perfection. It is if you like it or not. Very true. Very, very true. All right, I'm gonna go back into my seam right there. And couple forward, couple back, couple forward again, just to make sure that it stays in place. And this is just a fun project. It's not like, I'm not being super technical with it. Um, that's very kind of you, Donnell. Donnell, Pat Boo, uh, email Donnell and they will send it to you. Yep, it does request your name and email for the free pattern download, absolutely. Sue Allen, today may be the day. Christine says, my husband is cooking some salmon for our dinner by Suve. That sounds lovely. I love some salmon. I had some catfish last weekend, fried catfish. Oh, so yummy. So good. I hung out with my friend last Sunday. Um, 
His name is Leo Ransom. Yes, his last name is Ransom. If you look him up online, he is a male quilter. He lives uh, here in Texas, and I visited him last weekend. He's actually a member of my guild. Um, and so we got to hang out last Sunday, and it was a lot of fun. I had a good time. Uh, there's a news story about him. If you look up, his, if you Google his name, Leo Ransom, you'll come across the news story uh, about him. Uh, he's a really, really great artist. Amazing artist. He won first place at QuiltCon in, excuse me, in 2022. Um, and has won many awards for his amazing, his, it just, it blows my mind how talented he is. Just so freaking talented. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bev, it, this is the live. This, this is the live now. You must be present to win. Um, the timer still has... Did it finish? Did I miss it? I'm looking at the, my page is not loading, so I don't know what's going on with, there's still some time left. There we go, we got 16 minutes left on that um, giveaway, so uh, in about 16 more minutes, I will pull a winner, and you just gotta be present um, when I pull that winner. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, Heather. I went and visited him last week. Oops. Thank God I'm eating at the moment or I'd be drooling with all the recipes. Truth, I'm drooling right now. After the live is over, I'm gonna be eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich using some uh, peanut butter and then some apricot jelly. I love eating peanut butter and jellies with apricot jelly. Oh, so good. So delicious. So I think I'm gonna finish this on the live. We're at 2.40, but I'm gonna hang on until I finish. Cause I think I can, I think I can finish it before we end for today. I know that makes it a little bit of a longer video. And if you're watching this on the replay, I appreciate you sticking around and hanging out. Um, I don't usually like to go over two hours, but I would love to finish this on, the, on live today. And I think I can, it's gonna get shorter from here because this is the second long scene, like long, not long scene, but long um, row. And then I just have to do the, um, Lori, it is for, um, anybody can enter. But if you are international, I will be sending a quilted postcard uh, instead of a package. Oh, which way does this need to go? I'm looking at it from the front. This one goes right, so this needs to go left. This one needs to go left. Heather, yes, he is a great guy. I love getting to spend time with him. I see him at quilt shows too, and it's always a joy to run into him. We usually text each other though. Um, I'll ask if he's gonna be at a show. Uh, so, uh, so Yem, Yemmer, Yem, are, I, mm, sorry, I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, you, so what you can do is you can hit X, you can enter exclamation point raffle. If you are international, it looks like you are international. I will be sending a quilted postcard 
um, instead of a package. And if you're okay with that, then you can enter the raffle. Um, you do have to be present to win. So here in under 16 minutes, I will be picking a winner. And if you're here, all you have to do is give me some kind of message that you are still in the chat. And then I'll, I'll get you to email me your information so I can mail out the postcard to you. That's all it is. Gonna look at chat here in a second. Ooh, Sue Allen just checked her crock pot. Sue Allen, can I come can I come have dinner? <laughs> Apricot jam is yummy. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at chat. I'm looking at chat and seeing what's going on. I apologize if I just like blankly stare off into the distance. I know that looks so great on camera, but um, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything especially since I'm like sewing and trying to do all this at the same time. Come on, lay to the left. There we go. All right, we're getting there. It only speeds up from here. All right, let's move on to our next row. Uh, just finished sewing all my hexagons. Now just have to sew them all together and make a Mother's Day bag I'm selling on Etsy store. That's awesome. Yarn arm, got it. Sew yarn arm, okay. I was trying, I have dyslexia, so I, I, it's hard for me to distinguish where one word begins and the other one ends. So I was like, what is this saying? Yarn arm, got it. Clever, clever. Whoops. Where I live, we grow apricots. Uh, we have so many orchards, that's awesome. Smoking chicken on the smoker. You have two hours to fly here to Colorado. I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> don't think I'm going to make it. I love apricot. I love apricots. I love peaches. Strawberries, blueberries. Pineapple, all of it. Oh, I'm making myself hungry and that's not good. That is not good, because I'm hungry. Uh, guess who, Nancy? Hello all, love your quilt, thank you. It's coming along pretty well, if I do say so myself. I love it. I know, I know I'm evil. Sorry, Heather. Do, do, do. Go to the next one. I'm so glad I put this design wall up. It's making things so much easier. We made pork ribs in our smoker last weekend. Yummy. Mm, that sounds good. I miss having a grill. My apartment complex does not allow us to have a grill. They have a grill in the main common area, but we're not allowed to have grills um, in or around our units, which is totally fine. I understand there's like major risks with fire hazards and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not mad about it, but um, I do miss having my grill. I would rather sacrifice 
having a grill than catching the apartment on fire. <laughs> Future Cat, for once I get to watch a live. Excellent. That quilt is looking great. Thank you so much. Sue Lambert says, love, love, love that quilt. Thank you, Sue. There is a raffle going on, so make sure to use exclamation point raffle. It is going to be wrapping up soon, so make sure to get your ticket in. We've got seven minutes left on the raffle, so make sure to get that in. If you are international, you'll get a quilted postcard. If you are, if you have a US mailing address, I will mail you a mystery package of some kind. You can get an electric gill and cook indoors. That's true, um, but they are also expensive. <laughs> I have thought about getting like a smokeless grill um, I just, they're kind of expensive, and so I'm waiting to see. The air fryer has made things a lot better, I will say that. Like, air frying has worked nicely. You don't get like that, gr you don't get the grill marks, but it still tastes pretty good. I have an instant pot that has the um, air frying unit on it, and it's, I really like it a lot. I air fry a lot of things. Really, you can't tell the difference, says Bev. That's interesting. I thought for sure there would be like some kind of difference. New Wave is awesome and not very expensive. I'll have to check into that. Happy 81st birthday, Claudia. I missed where Claudia put that into the chat. Sorry, Claudia, happy early birthday. I'm trying to do too much. I love my air fryer, I do too. I love my air fryer, I love my Instant Pot. They are one and the same, but I even baked a cake in my Instant Pot. I don't recommend um, using the like pressure cooking settings, it did not, it was okay, but it wasn't great. 10 out of 10, don't quite recommend, but um, I love, I did um, bake some uh, cinnamon rolls using the air fryer, so good, so good, loved it. This week, it, this week got the embroidery module for my Bernina let me pay attention and not sew my fingers. Um, do you use it much? It's a scary rabbit hole. It is a scary rabbit hole. I do use my embroidery unit. In fact, I have made, let me grab it out of my closet. I have made, hold it up closer to the camera so that way you can see. I have made this. Uh, this was a jean jacket, it is a jean jacket, and I have embroidered, somebody just subscribed and I can't look at this moment, I'll look here in just a second. Uh, this is embroidered straight onto the jean jacket, um, and that took, I actually did two of them um, because I wanted to test it first, so that way I knew what I was doing before I actually did it on the real jacket, and I'm so glad that I did because I learned so many lessons Betty, Betty, thank you for subscribing. Right, at 81, the whole month can be your birthday. Thank you guys. I love how that jacket came out. It was so beautiful. Really love it. Yeah, that's 
gonna work just fine right there. Adam says, my second design was my hippos. Don't lie. Oh my God, the best thing ever. Yep. I saw those um, go on sale, Adam, and I thought about getting them, but um, I don't know. I like them, but I like the unicorn. Like the unicorn is like chef's kiss, perfect. Um, I don't know. I may still get them, I don't know. I need to do more embroidery. For how much I paid for this machine, like I really should do some more embroidery work uh, to make the machine worth it. It is worth it. It's totally worth it. Um, jean jacket has been on my wish list. It is a lot of work, not gonna lie. I embroidered the big cat uh, off the KFAF machine uh, patterns on the back of a jean jacket. It turned out so cool, but it looks, it, but it took like 20 hours to make. I know that unicorn took forever and I had to slow my machine down um, because it was literally bouncing on, I had this table out and it was bouncing up and down on the machine. So, or on the tabletop. So I had to slow it way, 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 way down. Uh, right, yeah, that's right. Uh, what type of embroidery machine do you have? You're looking at it. This right here, this Bernina, uh, is also my embroidery machine. It is. It has an embroidery unit that I can place onto it and use to make my embroidery. Paula says, hi everyone, sorry I'm late. I just got home, what did I miss? You have missed absolutely nothing. I have been working on putting this quilt together. This is a continuation of the collaboration on Tiffany's channel. We all got together, Tiffany, Becca, myself, and Teresa all got together and we're all using the line work layer cake to make a project with. And I am making this uh, quilt that you see behind me. So that's what I'm doing. Raffle has a few minutes left, so make sure to enter exclamation point raffle. No, uh, excuse me, no spaces in between the exclamation point and raffle. How big of an embroidery hoop do you have? Mine is small, uh, mine is large. It's the maxi hoop. So it's the biggest hoop you can get. I don't remember the dimensions off the top of my head. Are you gonna put a border on that, asked Lori. No, I'm not gonna put a border. I'm gonna leave it just as is. Let's see, okay. Did I go left or right on this one? I think I went right. No, I went left. No, I went right. No, I went left. Which way did I go? That's left, this one's right, this one's right. Well, shoot, I can't tell. Pretty sure, I can't tell. No, I went left, I went left on that. Okay, so this one goes right. This one goes right. It's the hard part is remembering which way, is which, which way he went on the last row. And honestly, it's not a big deal. If it doesn't end up nesting, it's not a huge deal. But we're gonna try, we're gonna try and nest as best as we can. And when I say we, I mean the royal we, which actually just means me. <laughs> That's what that means. All right, the raffle has closed. Give me a second and I will once I get this stuck back up on the wall, we'll pull our winner for the raffle. All right. Stick this up on the wall and then we'll choose our winner and it will be a great day. La dee da dee da. Ooh, the knees. Oh, 
go. <laughs> Everybody just see that? That was fun. Try it again. Come on. Stay up there. Come on. Work with me. Come on. Stay. Stay. All right. Almost there. We're getting close. We're getting close. Clickety, 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 clickety. Oh my gosh, if you have not joined me before, then you do not know the funny of me clickety, 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 clickety away. Uh, what colors are you going to use for your binding? I think I'm going to use a striped binding for it, I think. All right, I'm going to pick a winner. Again, if you are in the United States or have a U.S. mailing address... I will send you a package, a small package of some uh, random, not random, but mystery stuff. Uh, if you are outside of the United States, I will mail you a quilted postcard. You are going to, um, I know it did roll down so gracefully, didn't it? Whoops, somebody just subscribed. Thank you to Patty, or, uh, Patsy, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Um, if you are here, let me know that you're here, and then I'll need your email address within 24, excuse me, your mailing address within 24 hours. So you'll send an email to offkildercrafterian at gmail.com. You have 24 hours to send me a message. Drum roll, good job. Let's pick our winner. Pat Boo! Pat Boo, you have won. Let me know that you are in the chat still. I'll give you a couple of minutes to respond. Pat Boo. Pat Boo, it's you. Just waiting for Pat to let me know that you are still here. I'm pretty sure you are. I won, yes you did. Pat Boo, send an email to offkiltercrafterian at gmail.com with your mailing address. And I will get a package out to you because I believe you're in the United States, correct? Let me know. Remind me where you're located. Because I think you're in the United States. Do, do, do. Yep, you won. You won. I, you really, really won. I had nothing to do with it. It picked you. Congratulations, Pat. <laughs> Sorry, Candy, not this time. Maybe next time. You're very welcome, Pat. Love all the embroidery designs that are out there, especially the uh, tulip pink ones. I know, the tulip pink ones are just amazing. Love them. Yeah, Pat, you'll have to let everybody know what, what price you get. I don't even, I haven't even, I don't even know what I'm gonna send you yet. I've got to look into my um, giveaway box and see what's in there, but I'll send you something. I see you. I see you, Pat. I see that you are here. Remember, you got to send that email to me within 24 hours with your mailing address so that way I can get it out to you. I see you. Pat's like, I'm here. I see ya. Pat may be a few minutes behind on the live stream, so that may be what's going on. Northern California, that's right. That is definitely in the United States, so you will be receiving a package. I thought you were. 
thought you were in the United States. Guys, we're getting close. It may not feel like it, but I think we're getting pretty close to being able to assemble it all the way. I have to move my drink here in a minute. Because it's going to be in the way when I'm trying to put the whole quilt together. Lori says, you're not too far away from me, Pat Boo. I live near Reno. And I just lost my thread. Well, it may be longer than I thought if my machine keeps acting like this. Val also lives in Northern California. I'm in Rockin, Rockin, Rockland, excuse me, Rockland, California. I'm like, there's a rock in California? What? Nope, Ian just can't read, that's what it is. Ian just can't read, that's all it is. Uh, Barbara is in the San Francisco area. I want to go back out to San Francisco. I enjoyed my time there. The Exploratorium is so awesome. I haven't been to them since they've moved into their new location, but their old location was pretty awesome. Lori, what can I say? Don't laugh at me. My machine's acting silly and I'm gonna be silly too. Take me longer to get this done if my machine doesn't act right. Hello from Ontario, Canada. Hello, Lori. Hope you're having a wonderful day in Ontario. Oh, update on Laura Lynn. I heard yesterday on the um, chat in yesterday's video over on Tiffany's channel that Laura Lynn has been diagnosed. They finally, they finally were able to get a diagnosis, diagnosis for her. Um, so now hopefully they can start treating the problem and get her feeling better. I'm hoping that she will be on her feet soon and on, on the road to recovery. But in the meantime, make sure that you're still watching their videos. Go watch even if you're just putting it on in the background, go watch their channel videos, keep them active in the algorithm, um, all that kind of stuff that helps keep their revenue going. And we wanna make sure to support them while they're going through this. Shelly said, just left there yesterday, Northern California, long drive home. All right, this one is, it goes to the left. Because we did right last time, we're going left this time. Do, 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 do. We're getting close. We're getting there. Just a little bit longer. Love mom and hop. I do too. Jackie says, I play their videos muted all day. That's so awesome. Um, is it time to clean slash change the needle? It is possible. It is possible that it is time to do that. I thankfully purchase needles in super packs. And so I can, um, I like to pop in a new needle usually about every 
new project I do, I will pop a new needle into, into my machine. So it is, it is entirely possible that it's time to change the needle. I also, while I was up last night, um, I wa after the live was over, I watched um, Owl House. Does anybody, anybody know Owl House? Love that show, so good. Crazy weather here in Amarillo all of a sudden. Is it storms? Because if you're having storms out there in Amarillo, more than likely they're coming my way. Um, Ian, they're still doing tests on her to find out where the blockage is. Got it. I'm glad that they're at least getting closer. Hopefully that'll, they'll be able to find it and they will be able to get her on her feet again soon. So yeah, make sure to watch her videos, put them on in the background, put them on on mute. Um, just watch their videos as much as possible so that way their revenue still stays up. It keeps them active in the algorithm and we can help support them that way. Uh, lots of great things to see and visit in San Francisco, but there are a lot of homeless. Yeah, that's, that's a problem just about anywhere right now, unfortunately. Do you worry about your stitch count, Ian? Is it a me thing? Uh, I don't worry about stitch count. Uh, I don't even know how many stitch... I, I haven't even looked to see how many stitches I've done on this machine. Uh, where in Texas are you, Ian? I am in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Owl House is great. My nephew introduced it to me. I watched... Last night was the finale of the show, and it, oh, it, like, brought me to tears. It was so good. Um, I've had spools of thread that have bad spots. Once you get past them, though, it seems fine. It just drives you nuts in the meantime. Yeah, I've been there, done that. Hail, thunder, downpours the works. Well, that means it's probably on its way to me. <laughs> Great. Love that for me. Laura Lynn's channel is uh, Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. So if you type Mom and Pop Quilt Shop into YouTube search, you will be able to find their channel. Laura Lynn is hilarious too. I met her not in person, but I first was introduced to her on one of Becca's lives. Um, and she's hilarious. She's absolutely hilarious. So yeah, she's great. Love her channel, love everything that they're doing. Pop has been uploading some of their older Patreon videos to the channel. Oh, that's good to know. Ian, so Becca said Tiffany had a family emergency and went and won't be live tonight. Keep her family in your thoughts and prayers. That's all I know. Good to know. Thank you, Beverly. Just checking to see if I had any messages. This one goes to the right. There we go. And we're gonna sew our last one on the bottom here. Love the layout of your quilt so far, thank you. Coolio, I have a friend who used to live in Fort Worth, went to visit her once. Oh my God, what a net house traffic. Yes, the traffic here is great. Absolutely great. Don't, no, it's not. Traffic here sucks. <laughs> um, that goes there like that, yeah. So now I just need to put this one on. Is 
She told me if I didn't shush, I was gonna have to ride in the bed of her truck. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, um, so are likes necessary? I noticed mom and pop have, oh, my iPad just shut off again. I noticed that mom and pop have, vi have many views, but hardly any likes. Likes do help channels. They help um, the algorithm keep them activated. So um, always, if you like a video, if, if you're watching one of your favorite content creators, give that video a like, If you obviously, if you like it. If you don't like it, I you don't give it a like, but, if you like the video, give it a like. It helps their channel out. Um, keep it active in the algorithm and then also helps the algorithm know what kind of content you like so that it can share it with similar like similar minded people. <clears throat> Excuse me. Likes are very important. They are. There we go. All right, so we have our rows, and now it's time to put the rows together. All right, there we go. So all of our rows are sewn, all of our pieces are sewn together. Hello, Sandy, welcome. Lori says, I've never been so anywhere so big it is. Well, you know what they say, everything's bigger in Texas, right? All right, let's see. So those together, so the, let's see. These two together, these two together, those two together. How do I want to do this? I'm trying to decide how I want to accomplish this. I guess we'll just do it this way. We'll start with these two. Woo! Your project is gorgeous, thank you. It's coming along really, really well and I really like it so far. Where's my lid? Where did I, oh, there it is. I was like, where's the lid to my pins? So now we're going to line this up and I'm going to try and nest my seams. That's what I'm going to try and do. There's no guarantee that it's going to work with my pens. I am on the home stretch. You are right. I need my um, wonder clips because I'm going to try and nest my seams in a little bit. And I forgot to grab my Wonder clips, so I'm gonna grab those really quick. Uh, do, do, do. Watched Pop last night, and Laura Lynn is still weak and not eating much. She needs to get some strength back. Absolutely. Absolutely, she does. All right, I'm gonna pop Wonder Clip right there. Pop a wonder clip right here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to nest my seams. Some of my seams don't nest, but I'm gonna try and nest them when I can, which is looking like they're gonna get real close. They're gonna get real close to nesting and I'm great with that. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine not eating solid meal in two months. I hope she gets better soon. 
<laughs> Lily says, I'm in New York City and I laugh when I hear people talk about traffic. We have traffic. True story. That is a true story and I will not argue with that at all. I'm actually going to put my needle down because there's a perfect spot for me to get my needle in place. And then we're just going to go from there. It takes a little fina finagling. Sometimes when you're trying to get your places to line up. So I'm not going to be looking at chat for a moment while I try to finagle all this. So I do apologize if I miss your comments. Just doing my best to try and concentrate and focus on these spots as much as possible to try and get them as aligned as I possibly can. You gotta hold your tongue just right. I notice, so I've recorded myself um, like sewing and I realize that I make weird faces when I'm sewing. Um, because I'm like trying to get them in just the right spot and you know move the material and uh, yeah I just make I just realize I make weird faces when I'm sewing and that's okay Apologize for not being active and like watching the chat and commenting. I just want to make sure that I'm really focused on what I'm doing. Houston is a nightmare. Oh my gosh. Houston has really bad traffic. Really, really, really bad traffic. I'm visiting New York next week for work and I've been to the US before but not New York. It's going to be an experience. You are correct, future cat. All right, let's see if I can, let's see if it'll, oh, no, 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 fall. Stay, <laughs> stay up there. All right, those two are together. I'm gonna do our next two. Phyllis says, wow, you've made a lot of progress on this quilt. I am hoping here shortly to be finished with this one, which will mean that I have completed a quilt in a weekend. We'll see, it's close. So we're gonna line it up there. Kathy's here. This is the first time here. Welcome. Glad that you took the time to join in today and watch. I am working on the quilt that I started on Tiffany's channel yesterday and I'm very close to finishing it. Like really close to finishing it and I'm super excited. Super excited about that. Why am I grabbing those? I have those out here. Good afternoon, Ian and all. Sorry, coming in very late. Quilt looks great. No apologies necessary. I knew that today was a holiday and decided to go live anyways. And I'm just glad that you're joining me now.
I've been, Constance says, I've been to the Houston area once for a corporate event and thought I was going to die being driven from the airport to the hotel. It is so much worse than San Diego, California, and Italy. Totally, yes, you were right. Gina, or uh, Ginny, excuse me, Ginny is here. I'm here for the first time ever. Welcome. So glad that you could join me today. And thank you for stopping by my channel. I normally don't like to go over like a two hour live, um, but I really want to get this done today. And so if you're watching this on the replay, thanks for sticking around. It was a lot of fun yesterday. Again, I'm focusing on putting some wonder clips on these um, seams to try and get them to match up nicely, which they seem to be doing okay at the moment. Cross your fingers that that stays. Candy, it's exclamation point welcome, I believe, is the one you're, yeah, there you go. Typed it in right as I was saying it. If you ever need to know what my commands are for my channel, you can use exclamation point help and it will give you all the available commands. Heather says, it gives me something to watch while I prep blocks for next week. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy you're here as well. Constance really enjoyed watching all of us over on Tiffany's channel yesterday. I'm glad to hear that. It was a fun event. Lots of fun conversation. Lots of fun sewing. Yeah, make sure to check out the replay of yesterday. It's listed uh, down in the description of this video. You can head down there and click the link. Thankfully, this is like one of the longer scenes. So it'll get quicker again. I'm getting so hungry, guys. I may, I may end up having to skip lunch and go straight to dinner. Kristen used the exclamation point help command. That gives you a list of all commands available, including the fun ones that you never know what will happen. All right, here we go again. I may have to bust out my quilting glove here in a minute. My link to my Instagram. I gotta do a little creative sewing here because they're not quite matching up, but that's okay. I'm gonna make it work. Uh, I'm still curious of how many quilters prep fabric before cutting, like washing. I do not, um, I do not uh, wash my fabric before sewing it, unless it's like a really deep color. Um, I typically will not. I will not prep by washing. I will just cut it usually. Phyllis says, oh my gosh, I'm stuffed. My church always has a big dinner on Easter and a huge Easter egg hunt for the kids. That sounds fun. Do you think they'll bring me some leftovers? <laughs> And we may 
get a little bit of a pucker here. I'm going to try and try to ease this in somehow. I think I was able to do it. I think I did it. Again, this isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. This is a for fun quilt. It is not a show quilt or anything like that. So I'm just having fun with it and doing what I want to do. Uh, Katrina will uh, usually uh, they uh, Katrina usually washes the back fabric, the backing fabric. Sorry, I don't. My brain just decided not to read comments correctly. That's what happened. <laughs> the empty nester quilt. The empty nest quilter is here and says hello, everyone. Welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get my quilting glove here in a minute. Usually when the fabric starts getting heavier, that's when I like to put my quilting glove on so that I can help grab onto the fabric a little easier. <laughs> Something to hold you, thank you, Lori. I appreciate that. I may have to get up and get a snack here in a minute. Love your quilt, thank you. It's coming out really well and I'm loving how it's turning out. Ordered my first best press on Amazon and that stuff is pricey, it is pricey but it helps so much. I used Best Press on all, I'm pointing off screen, but I'm, uh, I used it on all of my fabrics from my legit kit and it has helped so much. I see somebody say that they, uh, I prefer to wash first trying to do too many things at once and that's not a good thing. I see that you prefer to wash first because it takes the shrink edge out. Eight ball, when will Ian get to eat? <laughs> John, it didn't like that answer. Or it didn't like that question, I should say. Yes, there is an eight ball command, so you can ask it all kinds of questions. And guys, if you, I may be running over into Teresa's time slot. I can't remember what time she goes live. Uh, feel free to head over to her live stream whenever you want to. I just am gonna be sitting here trying to finish this up. I would love to finish this today. It would make me really happy. So figure why not just live stream it until the bitter end, right? I have to admit that I'm sold on uh, Terrell magic for starching, especially when it, when doing miniatures. Interesting, I've never heard of that before. All right, let's put that up there. Oh, don't fall, please don't fall. <laughs> no, stay, stay on the wall, stay on the wall. No, stop it. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Stop! Stay! No, don't do that! <laughs> okay, well, it's now going to be on the floor. <laughs> Ooh. 
stay. <laughs> oh boy, okay. I'm just gonna put you right back there. Stay, come on. No, don't. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm on the struggle bus. I'm on the struggle bus right now. Stay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay up there. I don't know if this is gonna stay anymore. It may be too heavy to stay on the wall. You'll get really good butt shots right now. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh no, don't do that. Please stay. <laughs> Pins would help, all right. You, Math Geek, you are not the only person that, <laughs> that uh, talks to your quilts, no, and your fabric, no, not at all. Not at all. All right, I'm gonna pin it. All right, all right, I see y'all, I see y'all. Pin, all right, I'm grabbing my pins. Grabbing my pins. I see everybody's comments. Just pin it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I will just pin it. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. If I, if, if I can keep the top piece of it, it's okay. Marjorie says, I attached my design fabric to a sheet of thin styrofoam, so then I can just stick pins through it. I, yeah, I would love to do that, but um, I have a wall behind it, so I can't do that. Not yet, at least. Okay, so now I need to do these two. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you think I'm funny. I do talk to my fabric. I talk to my machines. I talk to everything. I know. Yeah. Uh, don't forget. Uh, Katrina says, don't forget those pins when you take them off. I, I was thinking that in my head. I was like, I better not forget that I have pins in here. Um, Cause that would be bad to like try and just rip it off the wall. Be like, why are they here? What's going on? I prefer potato distilled vodka when making starch. Interesting. I don't think I've heard of that before. This, <laughs> the wall behind me, so directly behind me um, is my washer dryer. Um, and it's funny because, you know, all the apartments in my building all are laid out the same way. So I will hear when my upstairs neighbors, because there's more than one floor, I can actually hear their washer <laughs> emptying water and I will hear it come down the pipes in the wall. Ooh, that's a good end. Hey Ian, my email won't go through. Any ideas? Um, off kilter crafter Ian at gmail.com. Mm 
no spaces, no nothing, off kilter crafter Ian, Gmail com. It's listed down in the um, description of this video. You can also reach out to me if you have Instagram. You can reach out to me on Instagram as well. A distillery in St. Augustine this week. That sounds fun. I tried. Hmm. Okay. Send me, yeah, send me a message on Instagram and we'll, we'll coordinate there. I don't know why it won't send. I could use some vodka right now. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> this is gonna be a really long live. We've been live for two and a half hours. Working towards the third hour. I like Katie's idea of using magnets so it doesn't poke hole holes in the wall. I like that idea a lot. I wish I could hang stuff on the wall, but the most I can do is use the safety pins. Because obviously, like, it's an apartment building. I don't want to damage the walls because then I get charged for it. And I don't want that to happen. Uh, so Yarn Arm says, I've made a few bento bags while I've been watching Time Flies. That's awesome. I'm not sure what a bento bag is. I know what a bento box is. Love bento boxes. Nom, 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 nom. Um, see, I'm on the topic of food again. Oh, I meant to grab my fabric glove. Let's do that right now. No, stay. Hey, Ian. Marjorie says, hi, Ian, and everyone in chat. Wowzer, your quilt looks awesome. Thank you. It's coming along really well. Uh, this one. So I bought this glove. Um, there are um, stores called Daiso here in Texas. They are basically like Japanese dollar stores. And this was actually a gardening glove, but I, <laughs> I bought quilting gloves before, but my hands are too big because they are sized for ladies. Makes sense, you know, perfect sense. But I have larger hands than most ladies do. Um, and so I ended up finding these gloves. These are actually gardening gloves, uh, but they work perfectly for me and quilting. So I am using gardening gloves to, cause it has the little gripper spots and it works out very nicely for me. It's amazing what you can do with a layer cake. You are so right, Marjorie. 
Mm. Marie, excuse me. Mary, 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 Marjorie, Marjorie, Mary, Mary. This is where my dyslexia kicks my butt and I start making a fool of myself. <laughs> It, uh, like a bento box, but a bag that you tie on the top. Oh, very cool. Sounds like a lot of fun. I, Patty, I got your email. Pat Boo, if that's you, I got your email. Mmm, bento box. I'm so hungry. So hungry. So hungry. I also got gardening gloves as well. Don't get quilting ones here. That makes sense. They work perfectly. It's the same thing, and honestly, it's cheaper. It is cheaper than quilting gloves. Because these, everything at Daiso, not everything, but like most things at Daiso are like $1.50, $2. Um, if they're more expensive, they'll be labeled as such. But if it doesn't have a label, it's like $1.50, which is great. Love it. And I apologize that I'm not focusing on chat at the moment. Feel free to chat amongst yourselves. Uh, Katrina asks, are you gonna be the first to finish their quilt of last night's live? It's possible, unless Tiffany, we all know that Tiffany like finishes things. You blink and she's finished with it. Um, I think I might be the first. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know what what everybody else has been up to today. I don't know if um, Teresa is gonna work on hers during her live later this afternoon or like what the situation is. But I think I might be the first. Good, okay, good. I'm glad I got your email, Pat. I did get your email, I saw it come through, so. Glad it started working for you. Don't know why it wasn't working, but who knows? I can't wait to do, Teresa's gonna do our next seasonal project. I can't wait to see what she has in mind for hers. And then I have my project coming up in October and I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do for that. Whoops. My wonder clip got stuck on a thread and it was starting to try and go through the machine as well. Don't do that. I bought a Costco pack of gardening gloves. I have a lifetime supply, there you go. <clears throat> Good idea. Whew, all right. Sometimes you start a project and then you just can't put it down until it's done just to see what it, yep, mm-hmm. Yes, Lori, you are correct. 
And that's kind of what's happening here today is I just, I just want to get it done. I just want to get it done. I want to make it happen. Stay on the wall. Rawr. go. Please stay. <laughs> Please stay on the wall. Be so appreciative. I know you're getting heavy, but like, come on. We're almost, we're almost done. We're almost done. All right. These two. How pretty, Ian. Thank you. It's getting closer. Oops. Okay, cool. Let's go here. up. Oh, iPad shut off again. Thank goodness I plugged my iPad in so that way it wouldn't die. Um, we still have 127 people watching. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Really, really do appreciate it. Did I? No. Okay. Yes. Maybe. I may have ironed this one wrong. Oh, well. That's okay. That's okay. Because these aren't, these don't seem to be lining up. The seams, at least. They're not nesting. But I think it's because I ironed them wrong. So they may not line up exactly. And that's okay. I love how the quilt looks very gender neutral. The black and white helps for sure. The Confident Quilter says I started a quilting channel. That's exciting. I have to check it out after the live stream. Yeah, I apparently ironed wrong. I always do it at least once. It always happens at least once somewhere along the way. I don't know how, but it always happens. Always happens. At least once, somewhere in the quilt, I will always iron wrong. Even if the directions are like very explicit on what, which ways they should go, I still end up doing it. It still happens. Put my needle right in there and start sewing. There we go. My daughter loves black and white. I prefer colors. I prefer colors most of the time, but again, this is tulip pink fabric and it does have those pops of colors in there, which I love. Um, so I like this one a lot because of those pops of color. What? Sorry, didn't see you while I was cleaning Apple Pit 
from my new sweater. How did you get Apple Pit in your new sweater? That's what I want to know. I had to read that a couple of times to make sure I was reading it correctly. Uh, by the way, I do have my piecing foot on. This is the 97D. If you're a Bonina person, you'll know. This is the piecing foot, and I am using it because it has the quarter inch um, on it, which I love. I could have put my quarter inch seam guide in as well, um, but I just I got lazy. That's <laughs> what it is, to be honest. Got lazy. Uh, it was easy, easy, Ian, but leave it to me and I will surely get it on oh, something. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Sounds like me. That didn't quite line up, but let's see. Ooh. All right. Let's make sure that that is correct. Yep, that looks correct. Maybe you will stay by yourself. Will you play nice? Will you stay up on the wall? Nope, you won't. <laughs> It's not that hard. All you have to do is stay on the wall. Come on, play nice. Be, be a good quilt, stay on the wall. All right, there we go. All right, so one, two, three more seams. Three more seams. Y'all think I can do it? I think I can do it. <sighs> three more seams. So I'll do, I may have to like throw it on the floor after I put these seams together. I'm gonna do top and bottom first. That works. <laughs> what a way to take it off the wall, right? Oh, don't roll over it. My chair tried to roll over it. We're just gonna we're just gonna put it on the floor for a second. That's what's gonna happen. We're just gonna put it on the floor. Just lay it out on the floor so that way I know which that I'm doing it right. Yep, that goes there. So we're gonna do it like this. And actually, you know what guys, I'm gonna take a bio break. I'm gonna take a bio break real quick. Give me just a second, I'll be right back and we'll keep working on this, okay? Stick, stick around, take a bio break yourself, get up, stretch, drink some water, all that kind of stuff. I will be back in just like literally just a minute.
Told you I'd be right back. Sorry about that, everyone. I leaned over and my bladder was like, hey, it's time for you to go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, everyone. It's uh, somebody just made a comment. Um, uh, Teresa is getting ready to go live. If you want to go watch Teresa, please, by all means, head over to Teresa's channel, uh, ISO2. Head over to her channel and say hello to her for me. Um, do not feel obligated to stay here. I am just going to continue trying to finish this up because I would love to finish this up before the live stream is over. See you later, Kathy. Thanks for joining today. Uh, Constance says we are getting hammered. Hopefully it breaks up a bit before coming your way. Joanne, she should be going live today. She said she was yesterday, so unless something has changed, she should be going live. Which way does this go? This is... Okay, we're gonna put that there. I can't find her live. She may, uh, she may go live here in a bit. It's just now getting to be four o'clock. Uh, Kathy asks, Ian, what legit kit are you working on? I'm working on Margaret the Boxer. That's the legit kit that I'm working on. Yeah, I don't think her live is up yet. Well, if you get the notifications, please do not feel obligated to stay. You are more than welcome to head out. And then if you wanna catch the replay and see how everything came together, you can do that. these nested scenes. Are you gonna play nice? Are you gonna play nice, Fabric? Huh? Are you gonna play nice? I don't know, Ian. Maybe. <laughs> Again, we're not going for perfection. It is totally okay if these are not perfectly aligned, but I wanna get them close. Donna says, I watch one on the iPad and the other on the phone. Well, thank you for doing that. Hop to it says, or Lois. Now that I see your name, Lois says, I'm not a big Tula fan, but the more I see this line, the more I think I need it. I, I think it's a great line. It's a really, really great line. In my opinion, it's a good line. Get over there. Oh, I just of my toe on the support under the table. Ow. And I had to stop myself from saying a bad word. <laughs> that was fun. Put my glove back on. We just crossed over the three hour mark. Thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate every single one of you. And if you're watching this on the replay and you've watched it from beginning until end, thank you so much for supporting my channel and hanging in there with me as I finish this project out because I really, really, really just wanna finish this. Like I, I feel like, you know, I could stop the live, but I would love to finish this on live with y'all. So that's why I am continuing. Cause I'm getting, I'm getting close. I'm getting really, really close to finishing this one. Pretty much finished a quilt in a weekend, which I've never done before. This is a first for me. I ordered two layer cakes yesterday after watching you four. That's awesome.
Now, if only we could get commissioned. <laughs> if only Tula will pay us commission for it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, hi, mostly outdoors with the grandkids. No worries. He's taken every toy he owns and piled it into his wa uh, into the waiting pool. I'll catch some of the stream replay. He's making me go back outside with another unload of toys. Oh, Becky, goodness gracious. Oh, kids. Too cute. Get that back in line, please. Thank you. There we go. Um, yeah, this is a great line, and there's I saw somewhere somebody posted in the chat yesterday. They said that this line is on sale somewhere. I don't know if it was Fat Quarter Shop or where it was, but wherever it was, go check it out. It's a good line. It's a really good line. I can't wait for uh, Everglow, though. That's, I th feel like that is my um, my line. Like I'm like, yes, I love this. I'm sticking to the end. I came late. It's the least I can do. Well, thank you so much. I, I greatly appreciate all of your support. I really do. I could not have my YouTube channel without all of your support. And I know, I hope you all know how much it means to all of us content creators when you take the time to watch our videos. It really means a lot. We love hearing your comments. We love getting that thumbs up on videos. Um, it really means a lot to us. So thank you. And Becca and I have a goal of hitting 100,000 subscribers. We would absolutely just be over the moon if we could get 100,000 subscribers and get that, get that official YouTube plaque saying that we had reached that mark. Both Becca and I have talked about like how amazing it would be to get that plaque. So hopefully you will take the time to subscribe if, you're, subscribe if you not, are not already a subscriber um, and help me and Becca out getting to our goal of 100,000 subscribers. I'm getting anxiety over Everglow. <laughs> Adam, I want that line. So I wanna buy yardage, no, excuse me. I wanna buy bolts of that fabric. That's what I want. Uh, I pre-ordered her next line. Uh, budget is blown, but going to, uh, instead of, but, uh, going to, but instead of Missouri Star Quilt Christmas box. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. When this line came out, I purchased yarders, yardage, yarders, yardage of Little Stinker the Skunk. Lily, it says that it has. All right, so there's that. Oh my gosh, did you see me? I almost fell over the chair. I'm gonna set this off to the floor, onto the floor over, uh, off to the side. Wait, am I? Which way does this go? Hold on, I lost. Oh, hold, wait, 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 what? What is happening? Hold on everyone, I'm having some quilty technical difficulty as I'm trying to figure out how this lays on the floor so that way I, okay, there we go, got it. <laughs> uh, I need like five cameras in here so you can see all the different angles of me trying to figure out what in the world I'm doing. Oh, well. All right, so let's grab these two. Man, I really would love to have a whole studio so you could see me interacting throughout the whole studio and watching me fail. <laughs> that was a huge, I walked off camera and then I'm like sitting there like, wait, how does this go together? How am I supposed to put these pieces together? 
Like, which way does it need to lay? And then I was like, oh, right, it goes this way. Oop, there's another pin. Thought I'd gotten all the pins, but I hadn't. <laughs> so Terry says, I pre-ordered Everglow so I can sleep at night. I've not pre-ordered, but as soon as I hear Crimson Tate say that they have it, I am ordering it. I feel like that goes right there. Pretty sure. The Empty Nest Quilter says, wow, I just had to look at the Everglow line and I love it. I know, it's so good, it's so good. Yeah, I will, um... Hmm. Let me... I'm gonna see if I can text Teresa. Oops. Okay, I just sent her a text message asking if she's going live today. So we'll see what she says. Um, I love those fairy flakes and every, I know, they're so good. Um, I really give you credit. I would never be able to do a live as I have a strong tendency to use colorful language when my fabric doesn't behave the way I want it to. Um, it takes a little bit, takes a little bit of, a little bit of effort, a little bit of effort to uh, not say colorful language. Um, it's funny though, because I, I, one of the jobs that I had in college was I worked for uh, Six Flags over Texas, and I was a Six Flags radio DJ, and so I had to be very careful with my language, because um, obviously that is a very family-friendly park, and yeah, I think you get my drift. Just looked at the price of Everglow here in Australia. First of all, welcome from Australia. Didn't realize you were down under. Um, and the price is so over my budget that I'll have to wait a couple of years. It is expensive. I granted, grant you that 100%. It is a very expensive. Uh, I was tempted to get the new Everglow uh, quilt kit from Fat Quarter Shop. Then I found a table topper kit with Everglow. Oh, that's fun. I'm gonna be getting the kit because I love the pattern. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the kit when it comes out. Uh, I won't even look as I know it'll be over the hill expensive. You are not wrong. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Nightshade Deja Vu. Some of the neon dots from the new Fairy Flakes will look great with that. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that idea. <laughs> I only use bad language in Italian. Thankfully, I do not know any Italian bad words. Do I? No. I mean, I did have an Italian person shout bad words at me before. So maybe, um, not, not strictly just me, but like my tour group, we were the stupid Americans. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's a 
very interesting experience. To say the least. They only carry yard bundles here, 653 Australian dollars per bundle. Holy cow, that's expensive. Just got Tula Pink's butterfly quilt pattern today. Now to pick out colored fabrics. Wow, that's exciting. Especially when you are in Italy, uh-huh. Yep. Well, I know a lot of English bad words. <laughs> I know a lot of bad words in English as well. I know some sign language bad words. I took sign language for a couple of semesters in college and I was very thankful because our professor, she taught, uh, my first professor, she taught us all the bad words so we knew not what to sign. Um, because there are some very similar signs that if you are not careful, you will end up signing. So she taught us all the, she taught us the correct ones and then told us what to look out for and how not to sign it so that way we wouldn't say something that we did not mean to say. Because it, it's easy to. It's the first word I learned when I got to Italy. By the way, if you're using any bad words in my chat, the um, YouTube automatically filters those out so they're not going to show up. That's why when I took everybody around the Dallas Quilt Show, I um, had to tell everybody, and because one of my quilts has that bad word on it. Um, not bad word, it's not a bad word, but the four letter word. Um, and I had to tell people, like, don't type it into chat because YouTube will block it, so you can't use it. Okay, this is where we are going to get a little weird. Because my green fabric is a little too long. And so I'm kind of having to like use x-ray vision to go look through the green fabric towards the fabric underneath, which I think I'm doing okay. We'll find out here in just a minute. I'm being summoned back to the backyard for picks. I will make it back for the finish. No worries, Lois. Please go spend time with your family. I'm just live because I can be. And I want to finish. So by all means, take your time. Enjoy your family. It's what today is for, right? Almost there, folks. We'll have one more seam, which is the longest seam in the quilt. But then we'll be done. Last little bit real quick. Beepity 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 It did go a little off. We're gonna fix that real quick. It's just a small part. So no big deal, but I am gonna fix this really quick. Cause it like started to go off weird. I kind of felt it doing it, but I wanna make sure and catch that. Yeah, it did not. We're gonna fix it really quick. Let's 
fix, fix, fix. Super easy to fix. We're gonna go forward, we're gonna go back, we're gonna be forward. And we're gonna fix really quick. There we go, got it, got it that time. Hey Ian, do you free motion quilt your quilts on a domestic machine, long arm machine, or send them out? I either rent time on my friend's long arm or I send them to her for her to long arm for me. It depends on what I want and what I wanna do and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I have a quilter, she is the very thoughtful quilter on Instagram, if you go to Instagram, um, you type in The Very Thoughtful Quilter, um, you can find her. She's also got a website, TheVeryThoughtfulQuilter.com, if I remember correctly. Google her name and you'll be able to find her fairly easily. She is amazing. She's the one that helped me get the um, blue ribbon for my quilt. Freaking love it. And it came out really, really well. I know I'm off camera, apologize laying it out on the floor. And I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna have to take a quick snack break because I can feel myself shaking a little bit. Um, I need to put a little something into my stomach. And then I promise we'll do the final seam. I'm getting a graham cracker out. Cause I know I can feel, I can feel myself getting a little shaky. So forgive me for two seconds as I eat a snack. Candy says, what is Fairy Flakes? Um, where'd it go? This fabric is the um, black fabric here that has the can you see it? There you go. The black fabric there that has the shapes in it, that is Fairy Flakes. It comes in both black and white. And I love it. So sorry. So sorry that I'm having to take this quick break. But I'm a little shaky and I wanna make sure that I'm taking care of myself. Oh, hey. Grab my water. Christine says, I free motion quilt on my Bernina. You should try it. I have the unit. The BSR. I have the BSR. I need to actually use it. I just haven't. I'm a little scared too. <laughs> I have not heard from Teresa. Nope, I haven't heard from Teresa. Bon appetito. True story. I'm working on teaching myself how to free motion on my Juki and struggle with the top thread breaking no matter what kind of thread I use. My machine has an automatic um, thread tensioner. Huh, interesting. I wish I could troubleshoot for you, but I don't, I'm not knowledge, I don't have enough knowledge in that area. So I apologize that I can't help you troubleshoot. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, guys. I know it's off camera, give me just a minute. Oh, it's gonna be so good. You're gonna love it. You are going to love it. Flipping in the one section over the other right now. And I need to line everything up. Okay, so that's gonna line up there. I had to like put it on the floor so that way I could see where everything's gonna line up at. 
Okay. Ah, here we go. Oh, Pat Boo, I know. I have, I have diabetes, and so normally I'm okay, but because I didn't eat, um, it's been, I didn't eat, so that caused me some problems, but it's okay. I will be okay. Yeah, Tiffany's Quilting Life, she would be able to help you for sure. Um, she's not going to be on today, but um, you can always send her a message, and she's really good about troubleshooting. I am type two. I am type two diabetic. I got it from my father, unfortunately. The genes got passed down. I was hoping they would have missed me, but nope, not that lucky. <laughs> no, I'm type two, which is hilarious because when I had surgery um, earlier, uh, Last year, yeah, when I had it last year, my doc my doctor who was going to be performing the surgery was like, "Oh, you got you got diabetes. You must be type one." And I was like, "No, I'm type two. And he's like, "I'm I'm sorry, what?" I said, "Yeah, I'm type two diabetic." He's like, "But you don't fit the stereotype." And I'm like, "Sorry, dude. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you." I'm not gonna fall out. I am watching my, ah, oh, dang it, my iPad turned off again. Look at my face. There you go. Um, I am watching myself. I'm, if it doesn't calm down in a minute, I, uh, I may go like eat some peanut butter or something, but I'm okay for the moment. Pat, I did eat before I went live. I just wasn't expecting to go this long. Um, so that's why it's a little, that's why it's a little different today. I normally eat before I go live, so it's not a big deal, but um, it's been a little while since I've eaten, so that's what's going on. Oh, thanks, Math Geek, I appreciate that. I'm okay. It's not fun, not fun. Do you use insulin? No, I do not use insulin. Um, I'm on a non-insulin medication. Wait, you were type two for several years and, then, and now you're type one? I didn't realize that you could go from type two to type one. I thought type one was like, you were born with it and type two was it happened later in age. I know, Teresa, I am quite young and it's dumb that I have to deal with this. <sighs> I am off kilter, abso freaking lutely. 100%, that is why I chose this name. Donna says, I just finished my first quilt on the hoop frame with my Juki TL18. It turned out much better than I thought it would. That's awesome.
Empty nest, the empty nest quilter says diabetic stereotype. That's like saying there's a stereotype for epilepsy or asthma. Absolutely. It, it was very, like when he said that to me, I was like, um, okay, cool. Glad I don't fit the stereotype, but I still got it, so. Yes, Jackie. Jackie's asking if I'm planning a trip back to Becca's. Yes, I am. I will be back there in June, around uh, June 19th. Oh, interesting, Teresa. Thank you. I think I am going to take a quick little bite of peanut butter. Woohoo! I made it back in time. Yep. Any word on Teresa Louise? I have not heard from her. Um... So I don't know what's going on with her. I hope everything is okay. I know Tiffany is also not going live today. Um, I'm hoping she's okay too. Give me just a second. Let me grab a little quick bite of peanut butter. Try to... Mmm, peanut butter. How many of you like Reese's Cups? I love Reese's. I'm, just, I'm horrible eating and talking at the same time, but how many of y'all like Reese's Cups? Oh, so good. No, I did not just eat a Reese's Cup, but I love Reese's Cups. They're very yummy. I would have slapped him. <laughs> Christy P says, oh my God, this is turning out so beautiful. I hope you're not going to use it for a picnic quilt. No, I won't. I will not be using it as a picnic quilt. I um, will be, it's either going to be a gift or I'm going to sell it. I haven't decided which yet. Um, more to come on that, I'm sure. Talking in peanut butter, this should be <laughs> Paula. I'm watching you. Watching you. And the peanut butter M&M. &M. Oh, yes. Juvenile diabetes is another animal. I am 67 and I took meds, uh, probably what you're on for a long time. It seems my uh, numbers went up overnight. My mom was just the same and it's gotten and got it later in life. Oh, my goodness. Peanut butter M&Ms are the bomb. They're so good. Oh, so yummy. Which way does this? Yeah. That goes like that. Lower my feed dogs a little bit so I can fit my fabric underneath. And away we go. So I have the peanut butter, the jar of peanut butter that I have is um, Peter Pan peanut butter. And it is honey roasted peanut butter. Oh, so good. So freaking yummy. Except it gets stuck in everywhere. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. I made peanut butter sheet cake for church today. Oh, oh so, so good. good. Math Geek says, I don't have much of a sweet tooth. I'd rather snack on cheese. I like cheese, but I have a bad sweet tooth. I got the sweet tooth from my dad. I feel, I don't have any medical science to back this up, but I feel that family genes can influence what we crave. And what I mean by that is my dad had a horrible sweet tooth and I have a really bad sweet tooth as well. And I'm trying to cut back. You know, I'm trying to do the right things. It's not easy. Also, sugar is addictive. Sugar has been proven to be an addictive, it's not a drug, but it can be very addictive. And so I feel like there are just, we're predisposed by our genes sometimes to, to have those like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying it right. But like, I feel like there are some times when our genes dictate what we get addicted to. 
when it comes to like sugar or maybe alcohol or you know things like that anyways i'm i have no medical science to back that up this is just personal opinion all i'm not a doctor i do not play one on tv <laughs> but i just feel like that because my dad had such a heavy sweet tooth um i feel like it got passed on to me as well could be wrong though Um, peanut butter and chocolates are a must. Yes. My grandmother on my side was diabetic. My grandpa on my side was diabetic and my mom was hypoglycemic. I am pretty much just waiting for mine to kick in. Absolutely. See, that's the funny thing is mom is hypo, hypo hypoglycemic, hypoglycemic. Yeah. Cause there's hypoglycemic and hyperglycemic. Um, and my mom, my mom cannot keep sugar in her she has to like eat sweets all the time because um, her blood sugar gets too low. So I was really hope, what I was hoping for was that I was gonna be the sweet spot where, <laughs> get it, sweet spot, where my dad had diabetes, but then my mom was hypoglycemic and it would like cancel each other out and it would be normal. Doesn't work that way, but it was a nice thought. I'm addicted to salt. I love chips and co over cookies. <clears throat> Predisposed. That's a yes. That's what I was looking for. Predisposed. Fantastic of you to push to the end of the line. Thanks so much for the company and have a great evening. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you for being here. We're going on three, well, I can't see because my computer has a window up that is blocking. We're so close, guys. We are so freaking close. We're almost there. I do love salty things, so like chips and you know pretzels and all that kind of stuff, but like I definitely prefer sugar over salt. It's funny though, I put salt in my coffee, just a little sprinkle, just a little sprinkle. I'm not talking about like salting a baked potato or anything, but I put a little bit of salt into my coffee because I feel like it really helps bring out the flavors of my coffee. And I do use creamer which I know is horrible for you. At this point, what, what food isn't horrible for you? Because it seems to be all processed, but personal opinions only. Food companies don't come after me. <laughs> um, nope, that was the wrong one to pull. There we go. Uh, but I do just a little, little dash of salt in there and it helps bring and enhance the flavors of the coffee in my opinion. Ooh, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Both my grandmas were diabetic. I'm borderline diabetic now. The, it's funny how, not funny, but like, it's interesting to me how many people I'm learning are diabetic, pre-diabetic. Um, I, I, there's, I, a part of it is because a lot of our food, even where it, the sugar hides in our foot, food. Like, there's sugar in foods that I didn't think should have sugar in them, you know? Um, which is, you know, not good and obviously causes us to have problems like diabetes later on in life. But I'm going to get off that soapbox. I'm going to stop talking about that because that's a whole can of worms and I do not feel like getting into all that right now. And guess what, guys? I'm about less than six inches from the end here. That was it. That's it. We used to put a couple of sardines, saltines in with our coffee before brewing for some reason. Oh, that's interesting. It enhances the sweetness, the salt. You are right, absolutely. All right, 
Is everybody ready to see it? Let's see. Is this the top or the bottom? Pretty sure this is the top. White bread or pasta, when di digested, turns into sugar. It sure does. Up here. There we go. Where's my third? There it is. I was like, where'd my other one go? There we go, everyone. That's that's it. Woo, somebody just subscribed at the right moment, too. Thank you, uh, Jerob. Uh, I'm so not saying that right, but Jerobeltha? Jer there, yeah. I'm gonna pull it in just a hair. Thank you guys so much. A quilt in almost a day. Quilt in almost a day. There we go. That's the quilt. I'll have to trim that off. But that's the quilt. I'm done. I did a quilt in a weekend. I've never done that before, but there we go. Bam! Wa bam! Wa bam! <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. It does. It it came out really well. I like it a lot. Like I said, if if this quilt were for me, I would make it bigger because I'm taller than this. But this isn't going to be for me. I'm going to sell it or I'm going to give it as a gift. So, um, yeah. There it is. That's it. It's done. It's made. I think out of the four, I'm the first one to finish. I've never done a quilt on point before. It is hard. It is not easy because, although I'm looking at my edges and honestly, my edges, my edges aren't horrible. I've got a little fluctuation right here. But for the most part, uh, there's a little bit of a fluctuation here, but for the most part, it's not that bad. I'm actually pretty, I'm pretty proud of that. So I'm getting better, slowly but surely. So there we go. We have finished the quilt. <sighs> and we are only, how many hours into this? We are three hours and 39 minutes into the live today. <laughs> <clears throat> this chair is trying to take me out, apparently. Mary says, I do believe you are the first to finish your top. I think I am too. I think I'm the first one to finish as well, and I think it came out pretty well. I am noticing a little, little fluctuation in it, but honestly, it's fine. So, awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging around and watching. If you're catching this on the replay and you made it all the way to this point, man, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me here today. I really appreciate it. What is a fluctuation? Uh, yeah, don't fall off my chair. Um, so, I did. <laughs> y'all are about 30 seconds behind, so y'all are just now seeing me fall out of my chair almost. Yep, I almost bit it. You sure did. Um, what is a fluctuation? When I'm saying a fluctuation, I'm talking about my seams being mismatched, creating, you know, kind of that shape, not quite lining up properly like they should. And so there's a little bit of a fluctuation in my, in some of my alignment, but for the most part, it's not too bad. I'm actually pretty proud of it. Pretty freaking proud of it. So thank you guys. Watch out for those pesky chairs, I know, as I almost fall off a chair here. Kathy says, thank you, I found you from the Cotton Cuts Puzzle Mystery Quilts. Awesome. Oh, Kathy's still here, hey Kathy. All right, I am gonna eat. I am gonna jump off the live here and go eat. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate y'all sticking it out with me 
until the very end. I hope everybody has a great day. Enjoy your Sunday. Take some time to enjoy the remainder of the weekend before we start back on Monday again. Hope everybody has a great day. Remember, guys, I love y'all, first of all. And, of course, normal is just the setting on the dryer, as usual. I finished a quilt in a weekend. All right, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye, everyone. Wait, where's the button? Okay, here's the button. Bye. <laughs>